your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, October 27th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,233, silver $17.24, and Bitcoin is trading around $350.30. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online, shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. In the news, on Friday, a U.S. drone strike was reported to have killed three suspected members of a local branch of al-Qaeda in the Arab Peninsula in Yemen. Reuters reported that tribal sources confirmed the deaths were members of the al-Qaeda group currently fighting the Shiite Muslim Healthy Group. However, Press TV reported that tribal sources stated that up to 20 people may have died. Drone strikes in Yemen have been a controversial topic since Human Rights Watch released a report detailing the deaths of Yemeni civilians at the hands of the United States government. The killings are being done in violation of international law. The FBI has released two updated reports from the Office of the Inspector General concerning the FBI's use of the controversial national security letters. The reports were released to the New York Times through a FOIA request. The updated documents were originally from 2007 and 2008 and have now been reissued with newly declassified information. NSLs are orders that give the FBI authority to gather data from companies without judicial approval. They are typically issued with a gag order, preventing the recipients from speaking about the request. The Electronic Frontier Foundation said the excessive classification and redaction continue to prevent new information from being released. A new policy study published in the journal JAMA Pediatrics proposes a mandatory criminal background check for every firearm sale as a way to protect the children. The report examined the federal policies in the United States related to children's health and health care. The researchers found that child poverty in America is at its highest point in 20 years and say that five children die daily from firearms. They offered 10 steps for the federal government to help children, including a background check for gun sales. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. And support comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, October 27th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. The Thin Blue Line, the unwritten police compact which holds that officers should get each other's back no matter the circumstance, has been crossed. This is a Liberty Beat special report. On day two of the Antonio Beeler trial, which wrapped up late Friday afternoon, Austin, Texas police officer Jermaine Hopkins testified on behalf of Beeler's defense regarding the ins and outs of reasonable suspicion. Hopkins has a history of going against the grain at APD. During his testimony, it was revealed that he is currently on administrative leave for taking a complaint of discrimination outside of the chain of command. For bringing forward the complaint, Hopkins stated APD retaliated against him, withholding his overtime pay. The Department of Labor has ruled against APT's decision. However, Hopkins' testimony on behalf of Beeler means more than overtime pay. Asked by the defense if he has faced retaliation for agreeing to testify, Hopkins told the court he would no longer have a job as of October 30th, with his supervisor informing him of his termination after learning of his subpoena to testify. Beeler is being tried for the Class C misdemeanor failure to obey the order of an officer. In association with his infamous New Year's Day 2012 arrest, where he filmed officers Oborski and Snyder violently ripping a young woman from the passenger side of the car in Austin, Texas. Day three of the trial takes place today. Beeler's attorney, Millie Thompson, is hoping to convince the jury that the order given to Beeler to put his hands behind his back was not a lawful order, as Officer Oborski had no reasonable suspicion to detain him in the first place. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, October 27, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile.
North, an extremely vocal opponent of gay marriage, drew fire during his 2010 re-election campaign for saying that the legalization of gay marriage would lead to man-horse marriages. In one instance, he told the New Haven Register, quote, it's a slippery slope. If we allow two men to marry, what's next? Men marrying horses? But yesterday, North found himself at the center of a media firestorm when the New York Times published photos of North on what appears to be romantic outings with a horse. Gathered during the Times' two-month investigation, the pictures show North in almost a dozen locations with the same three-year-old mare. A former aide discovered links to numerous horse-related sites, including phillyfreaks.com and hothindquarters.com, a North's work computer. The Times is accusing North of using federal funds to pay for luxurious trips, including a three-night stay at the high-end Sueño Stables in Catalonia, Spain, last month. North released a statement yesterday claiming he only spent time with the horse twice while conducting research for his anti-gay marriage project. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We will take your calls about whatever happens to be on your mind. You can just dial on in toll-free here. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And joining you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. And don't forget, you can join us via Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to connect up that way. If you've got it, you will sound better, likely, on Skype than you do on the phone. Over the last uh, couple months now, at this point... We've been playing some video as it has been released from the people claiming to be the Islamic State, ISIS, ISIL. Uh, they've been releasing a series of propaganda videos, which of course is you know the same as what the U.S. government would do. You know, every, all these sides are releasing their own prop propaganda. No shortage of government agencies re releasing propaganda. Right, and that's what the Islamic State essentially wants to be. They want to be their own government and, uh, you know... They're violent, just like every other government of the world. So to me, there's not really much of a difference between them. But I'm interested in the Islamic State's side of things because it's so underreported. Uh, there's all kinds of mainstream media who will do news stories about what the government, the U.S. government or the U.K. government, uh, says about the Islamic State. But what do they have to say about themselves? Well, that's what we've been sharing with you here on Free Talk Live over the last several weeks. It's been, I think, since late August when John Kentley, who is one of the uh, the captives that uh, he's been in the custody of ISIS, allegedly, since 2012. John Kentley has been the guy who's become their spokesman. Uh, you know, he's articulate. He speaks well into a camera. He's got a news background. He was a photographer, I believe, prior to uh, his capture. The sniper probably took out the uh, other other fellow. The other fellow? You mean like the, the newsman or something? No, like no, the guy that uh, th that was previously doing them that was from uh, England or something. D which, doing what? These videos that were no, coming from ISIS. it's always been John Cantley. What about the ISIS videos where the guy's cutting the people's heads oh, off? Oh, thanks for clarifying. No, I'm not talking about the beheading videos. I'm talking about the propaganda videos. So sure. the beheading videos, are I consider them a separate category. They're not informational. They're just threat threatening videos. Uh, Cantley's videos, his series, and there's been about five or six videos in the series thus far, has basically just been their, uh, you know, ostensibly, ISIS's perspective, or whoever's in charge of the propaganda wing, at least, uh, their perspective on these international events. And I, you know, have found them very interesting. Uh, it's interesting to get their side of things. And up until now, John Cantley has been their their guy. He still is, but John has been in in previous videos in a room which you know has a black background he's sitting at a desk uh he's got a uh, you know an orange prisoner kind of shirt on as he talks into the camera and reads a, a pre-prepared teleprompter script and all things considered it's a well relatively well high produced uh production uh, they've got hd quality cameras the sound is decent uh they did a good. They've actually got two cameras they're cutting back and forth between the two so it's they put a little bit of time and uh, and effort into this now, they have taken John Cantley out of the anonymous studio, this blackened studio, and they're putting him on the streets in Kobane. Now, this is one of the locations where there's been some ostensible conflict, some violence. 
And so the Islamic State is interested in revealing what they have to say about this conflict. So I'm just going to jump into the audio, having given you a bit of a preface of what you're about to hear. Now, the video, I'm starting it at about 50 seconds in. I'm getting it from the Washington Post on their version of this story. I believe this is the full video. It opens with several seconds of drone footage. So ISIS has their own drone, and it is flying over the city of well, I'm Kobane. not surprised that that free keen activists have our own drone, too. I mean, it's a remote control helicopter with yeah. a camera on it. I'm, you know, Anyway, it shows, you the, it shows you footage of this city from the sky. It's kind of this gray, uh, bleak-looking place. So after several seconds of drone footage, we begin where, sort of like in a news program... Hello, I'm John Cantley, and today... John Cantley pops onto the screen. There's the little... Kind of they have the sound effects and the little newsy looking things that you might put on there. There's like a little point on the the uh, the screen, and then John Cantley sort of comes out of that. Wait, does it come out sort of like pixely, and um, then resolve itself into the picture? Okay. Not quite. In the city of Kobani on the Syrian Turkish border, that is in fact Turkey right behind me. By the way, John is not dressed in his uh, orange suit. Uh, he is dressed in a black t-shirt, a kind of button-up shirt with a collar, and uh, appears to have grown some facial hair for this one. So, here we go. Well, you know, here. Muslim types, they can't uh, can't respect you without some facial hair, right? In the heart of the so-called PKK safe zone, which is now uh -oh. controlled entirely. That's safe. not supposed to happen. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to try to restart it and see if it does it, it again. Safe zone, uh -oh. which is now controlled entirely <laughs> by the Islamic State. <laughs> now, for a month I now. can tell you that didn't do that when... Uh, it's a high-class operation <laughs> we're running here, Ian. <laughs> It didn't do that when uh, when I tried to screen it prior to uh, the show starting here. So we'll try to pull up the actual proper audio here of John Cantley. Uh, you know, I got to kind of wonder what's going on with this guy. Are they, uh, you know, I, I, it kind of feels like I'd say anything if they're going to cut my head off, you know? There was an article where his sister commented that she believes, that she thinks that he believes two-thirds of the things he's saying. Well, so two-thirds of the things they're saying make some relative sense. Um, you know, I mean, the critiques that ISIS has with uh, U.S. and Western involvement in um, this conflict, you know, they're pretty valid critiques. So if you'd like to share your of course, thoughts— Of they're, they're just a bunch of violent thugs that want to use the, the vacuum of uh, U.S. and Western involvement for their own ends. Uh, should you like to share your thoughts on the current ISIS situation— we would love to hear from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We'll get the uh, John Cantley video rolling here uh, by whatever source. If I need to, I'll find a, I'll find a different, different one, And even though that can be somewhat difficult. There's other things to talk about here tonight, like the small town of Stetlin, Stetton, Wisconsin, home to fewer than 3,000 people, TheBlaze.com, reporting that one of their residents, 75-year-old Roger Hopner, has been engaged in a lengthy battle with the town over how he uses his land. He's a retired paper factory worker, and he runs a tractor and pallet repair business on the uh, 20 acres of land that he owns in Stetton. And for years, the town has been trying to get him to clean up the parts and the pallets strewn across his property. The city's won a series of court cases against Hopner and contends that the septuagenarian has not abided by prior agreements to clean up his land, leading a judge to impose $500 per day fines on Hopner in April of 2013. On October 2nd, Stetlin obtained a writ of execution to collect more than $80,000 the man owned, or that oh. owed rather, the newspaper reported, and the sheriff's SWAT team made its move, bringing 24 armed officers and an armored vehicle, the Marathon County Response Vehicle, to Hopner's house. In the wake of violence in Ferguson, the nation may be turning a critical eye towards militarized police forces, but Stedden's law enforcement defended the use of the armored vehicle to collect money from an old man. Sheriff's Captain Greg Bean said, quote, I've been involved in about five standoff situations where as soon as it showed up, the person gives up. He argued that the deployment of the vehicle can save time and money and promote safety. So uh, there you go. There's a little bit more to the story, and I can get that here, but what do you think about this? Uh, using the armored personnel carrier and 24 armed police to go after a man who ostensibly owed the city $80,000 because he refused to clean up his yard. Oh, well, um, he, they claim that the Bearcats what collects the money. Then why send, why send the 24 officers? <laughs> 
Well, it's not going to collect the money now, is it? This uh, this man's not going to cough up eighty thousand dollars with, uh, you know, if he hasn't ponied up any You'd cash yet. You think that yet. they could keep the twenty officers out there on the uh, highways collecting revenue from, uh, you know, hapless travelers, while they sent four officers and a bear cat to uh, to take care of one seventy year old? I mean, it's an bulletproof vehicle shouldn't be a problem if you don't want to get out of the bulletproof vehicle you can just talk to him over the microphone come out come out old man bring a bunch bring your checkbook bring your checkbook you know i, I mean really it, it's at some point or another that's what it's going to get down to it's scary it's scary seeing these pictures of these apcs rolling through or seeing them live and in person and we got to use judo you have to use judo to fight the state Oh, I was going to say, judo versus the uh, armored personnel carrier. I don't know if that's going to really work. Uh, The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. Your thoughts on this or ISIS, whatever's on your mind goes here on Free Talk Live. We'll get John Canley going here in a moment. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Listen, you've heard the commercials before. Whether you owe $15,000 or $15 million in tax debt to the IRS or state, we can help. On a never-ending payment plan, penalties and interest killing you, Missing tax returns? Being garnished or levied? Not a problem. If you qualify, we can remove levies and garnishments within days or even hours of hiring our firm. If you've been summonsed, or even worse, receiving tax warrants in the mail, call right now. Are you a business owner with back payroll taxes? Is the IRS or state threatening to close your business you've worked so hard to build? Protect yourself and your business. Even if you've tried in the past, new guidelines could potentially qualify you today. So what are you waiting for? We can take that tax monkey off your back call the tax monkey now 800-281-6030 800-281-6030 800-281-6030 that's 800-281-6030 the three most important things you can do for free talk live are one share one episode a week on facebook or in some other social networking site two Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You know, if you've ever snitched on a neighbor, well, shame on you, but if you ever have, uh, because they've got something in their lawn that you don't like, or they've done something with their property that you don't like, would you really have snitched? Would you have? Would you be proud of having snitched on that person if you found out that the police came with an armored tank and 24 armed men to intimidate that person, that neighbor of yours, into paying up, paying a fine to uh, to the state? Would that make you happy? Would you feel satisfied, or would you feel like maybe things went a little further than you had thought they would go? Because that's what happened. Uh, in the story here, and I don't know if they, he, he was snitched on. I don't think that was necessarily the story. But the the news story is from TheBlaze.com, where there's a small town in Wisconsin, in Marathon County. Uh, the town is Stedden. They have less than 3,000 people, and they sent an armored personnel carrier. It looks like a bearcat to me. They sent a, what, what appears to be a bearcat. Uh, to this man's home. They claim he owes $80,000. Why is that? Well, he's got some pallets. He's got some stuff on his property. And, you know, he thinks it's his property. Now, he's agreed to certain things in court that uh, these agreements he has not held to. But, of course, he only agreed to those things under threat and duress. I mean, he was taken to court against his will. It's not his will to have pallets be taken off of his property. Obviously, his will is to have the pallets on his property. That's why they're there. But these busybody, know-it-all people uh, in the town think they own your property, and so they've come after him with $500 a day fines, and it's now been over a year, and now he's uh, apparently owes $80,000. So they, they brought in the SWAT team over this. Now- Who thinks that's okay? Now they, um, in this case, he's a he runs a tractor and pallet repair business, which is a strange thing to run. Um, you'd think you'd either repair pallets or tractors or something similar to pallets or something similar to tractors, but not pr- tractors and pallets. Well, why not? I mean, it might be hard to get some pallet repair business, so you may have to repair tractors on the it side. It seems like an odd combo. That's all I'm claiming. All right. Um, but you would think that 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 sounds like a rural thing to do, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I just wonder. His property looks rural. I wonder what municipality is deciding what you can keep on your rural property and what you can't. I mean, this would know, be the town of Stetton. It just seems that seems odd. Like I get it if you're in town and they don't want your property covered in you know junk heaps and and rusting cars and piles of pallets or whatever it is mm-hmm. that you're doing. But somewhere, somewhere, somebody in the world has to make the pallets and they have to. Fix the tractors. Mm. And when you fix tractors, especially if you're fixing, because, I mean, fixing tractors is a lot different than making tractors. Making tractors is very precise work done with in a very clean area. Fixing tractors, you're in there with dirty grease. You're, you know, in there with uh, metal working tools, wallowing out a hole. Something's gotten bent. You have to get, you know, bend it back in shape, all, welding, all that stuff. It's wallowing. So you, you waller out holes. Uh, you, <laughs> you just, you make it bigger. Right. Um, <laughs> you have to really... Uh, you know, you're gonna have to have spare parts and that that sort of thing. So that's gonna require some things sitting around. Pallets, you know, not all the pallets sell on Wednesdays. So you gotta have pallets sitting around for when people want to buy pallets. It seems to me now I haven't been to this guy's farm, but it seems to me that you might be push. I mean, it's a rural area. Who cares? Yeah, and, and now is it just pallets? Because wood is. Last time I checked, wood is not toxic. Wood does not pollute the environment, right? If it was uh, pressure treated, I suppose they could make the argument. Apparently, he has parts and pallets. 
So yes. maybe some tractor I'm thinking parts. it's a cosmetic that's, thing. That's what I'm claiming. Or cosmetic well, offense. I mean, if you want to ask who this is, it's the busybodies. This is the people. Everybody, every town's got them. Uh, oh, yes. That, you know, some towns are more restrictive than others. I mean, there's one town in our area that doesn't have any zoning whatsoever. Um, that's a cool thing, but most of the towns do have zoning. And that's because those towns probably have more busybodies than the town that has no zoning. These are people who... It's their job in life. They've decided for themselves to to tell you what to do, you know, to decide what's best and get into positions of power to where they can force what they think is best on you. Let's go to Yes, go ahead, Ian. No, please. I was going to say in a um uh, you 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 met, you asked earlier, is this overkill? And when you have yes. a monopoly as they do, there's really there is no there's no way to tell what is too little and what is too much. You have to have a competitor to determine that for you. Because Ian, you say it's overkill, but that's just like your opinion, man. It is my opinion. I would love to hear from somebody who has the opinion that this is completely appropriate. I suspect we won't hear from that person tonight. The toll free number eight fifty five four fifty free. Darren is in St. George, Utah, listening to KZNU. Hello, Darren. Yeah, it's it's Aaron actually. A A R O N, but no big deal. No, Go ahead, fine. sir. Um, so I wanted to make the point simply that I just don't like the business at all of anybody telling somebody else what they can have and what they can't have on their property. And to illustrate this is uh, I recently made a visit to Portland, Oregon, and I love Portland for so many reasons. Um, on the streets of Portland, the city council has determined specific city art that can be displayed in public domain just right out there. And some of it's really good. I actually like the art. And But some of it, to me, is just as bad as a tractor heap or a, mm. uh, a pallet heap. And quite frankly, you know, I'm just like walking through and I say, like, like here's this government-sanctioned or this city-sanctioned or community-sanctioned uh, shrine to some type of, uh, you know, construction of something. It sometimes is, just doesn't, doesn't really appeal to me at all. And I don't see why that can be considered art, and that's perfectly fine to be there. You have somebody like, you know, whether they're practicing business or maybe he's in the tractor pallet art business. That's a great point. Displaying his, his tractors. And you know, I'd rather see there. this guy's uh, tractor pallet art than I would uh, a bunch of political signs any day. Those things are hideous. And it, Absolutely. It, they just, they're a blight on the, uh, the the scenery. And for some reason, we have mm-hmm. to have them. We have to. You know, they, because they spend millions and hundreds of millions of dollars every year on uh, these these election campaigns, so we just have to have that stuff. Oh, you guys know the uh, the very the very good looking guy who who advertises at the beginning of all the YouTube videos against uh, who is it? Gene Shaheen. Uh, Scott, Scott Brown. Scott Brown guy. Well, it's it's a guy. He's got sort of grayish white hair, but kind of I mean, youthful looking. I don't watch these advertisements, so no, incredibly I, that, good looking. That, well, that's Scott Brown's a good looking man. No, no, no. He's not. He's not a candidate. He's he's, he's just not. somebody that that does the talking. I have no. I have no idea. Just a rustic looking talking head. No, All right. I was curious. Some I was going to an actor. I don't know exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if he did, if he worked for a party, you know, and if he did those ads for candidates across the country. Could very well be. Darren, any other thoughts you want to share? I think you're onto something here. Maybe this guy should have said this is his art project. Well, I mean, that I, that's just it. It's just, look, I, I, I understand city blight. I understand graffiti. I understand art. I understand someone's business. I understand all of this. And I think everybody else does too. And we're all trying to figure out, hey, where's that threshold? But, I mean, that's the problem with today's society and the level of government that we're in. It's we're just figuring out the threshold for every last thing. And I'm sick and tired of it. What I really want is I just want everybody to stay out of everyone's business and treat everybody with just respect simply and try very hard if you have beef with them to talk to them directly. Instead I of think you are things. absolutely spot on, Darren, and I'd recommend if you view the, the world in that way, you should check out the Free State Project. I thank you for the call tonight. Yeah, if you uh, if you want to leave people alone and you would like to be left alone, then you should get together with other people who think like that, and they're coming to New Hampshire. You can go to freestateproject.org to learn more about it. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. You take control. 
Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Hi, I'm Sam Nussbaum, WellPoint's Chief Medical Officer. We proudly support the March of Dimes mission to improve the health of babies and fight premature birth. We're helping the March of Dimes fund breakthroughs in research and community programs that help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Join us in working together to provide children with a healthier start in life. Visit marchofdimes.org. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here and bring up whatever you'd like. 855-450-FREE is the number. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, we've got Skype as well. Skype on into the show at username lrn.fm. Small town uses an armored tank plus 20-something cops to go after a man for a messy yard. That's what it's come to. I mean, we've had messy yard stories on Free Talk Live over the years. And sometimes they use more violence than is necessary to uh, deal with this situation. I don't think they should do anything about it. Personally, I think you should be left alone. It's your damn yard. 
And if you want to have pallets or whatever it is you want out in your front yard, maybe a car on some jacks or whatever, you should be able to do that unless you live in a deed-restricted neighborhood where you have agreed to have certain restrictions. I don't think it's okay for people to just place restrictions on everyone in a geographic area simply because they have taken control of the, the local apparatus of the government. Well, I would say that if you want to opt into a deed restriction, you should be able to do that too. That uh, you you should be able to get people in your neighborhood sure. to sign a contract. One hundred percent of them. That uh, says that uh, you know they they aren't going to keep you know this that and the other on their front lawn. Mm -hmm. And then then you can talk to people around the neighborhood to say, hey, you know, signing this document would be a really good idea because it's going to benefit us all in property values and that sort of thing. And that way, it can handle. Over time, you'll get 100% of opt-in because most people can see the value in this. And that mm -hmm. one cantankerous uh, guy that likes to leave stuff out in his yard, um, you know, he's going to die or move or something like that. Right. Also, that guy can usually be handled with uh, a certain payoff. Now, I think that – I think – we need to have rules about what people have in their yards and what they don't when you're talking about residential areas. But I think that this is a good transition into it. Um, so, like for well, instance, who I had a situation. What's residential? Uh, the people Some that sign, politicians. The people that sign, uh, that, that uh, you know, opt in with these uh, deed restrictions that I'm talking oh, about. Oh, you're only talking about opt in. Okay, I thought you were talking about like today residential well, areas, government uh, sort of approved. I lived next living door, zones. trying to uh, sell a house. Uh, was next door to a guy that had four cars in his four car, you know, his yep. driveway that uh, you know could fit four possible cars. Mm -hmm. You know, two of which ran, and two of which were just sort of projects of his. And you know, they're a bit of a mess. And I'm looking to sell the house, and it's not very helpful. This guy, you know, had a real mess going on there. He didn't even have indoor plumbing. They'd come over and borrow buckets of water from me. Wow. Uh, that's, uh, you know, things were pretty rough over there. So um, I essentially offered him a couple hundred bucks to uh, take care of those cars, and mm -hmm. he sure did. And that way— What did he do with them? I, I think they towed him off. He mm -hmm. had some kind of connections with a tow company. So— in that way, was able to avoid whatever I'm dealing with there, and the next yeah, people can deal. I support deal. any voluntary solutions that involve consent of all parties, not sending a tank and 24 armed men against a poor old guy who, you know, he didn't hurt anybody. He just had some pallets and some stuff uh, in his fairly large yard. I'm looking at a photo of some of these pallets that are visible from the road. It's kind of a wide shot, including part of the driveway, and they there's some junk in that yard, but it's also heavily wooded as well. I mean, you really can't see much at all uh, that's in there. Nonetheless, the busybodies got their way, and he apparently did pay up the $80,000. Wow. Uh, the old guy says— Pallet business is good. He is—let's uh, see here. He's 75 years old. His name's Roger Hupner, and he says at the end of the story from The Blaze that— uh, the town apparently dropped six thousand dollars from the eighty-six thousand figure originally, and charged Hopner eighty thousand after issues surrounding the hauling of his equipment were sort sorted out. He said, claiming Stetton officials have a vendetta against him. Hopner says he spent his retirement fund, roughly two hundred thousand dollars, fighting the town about the use of his land. Mm -hmm. He also claimed that after he was visited by the SWAT team and forced to shell out eighty thousand dollars, his wife was so shaken that he had to take her to the hospital. So uh, if you support this kind of behavior by the police, I would really love to hear from you. I mean, if you think it's okay to just go ahead and threaten a man with uh, guns and an armored tank because he's got some stuff in his yard, I really want to hear from you. The toll-free number is 855-453-FREE. Jason is in Utah. You're on Free Talk Live listening to w or, excuse me, KZNU. Hey, hey, sorry I'm not that guy that's going to defend uh, the Bearcat, but uh, you guys remember that little story, uh, that movie... Uh uh, Footloose with Kevin Bacon in it. Why, yes. Yes, we were talking about, about it just last night. Role. Oh, were you? Yeah. Were you talking about uh, what went down out here in uh, St. George? Yeah, basically uh, right. what happened in St. George with the police crackdown on essentially what was supposed to be a dance party at a local fun zone, fun, fun center kind of place. Uh, the police came in, shut the party down before it really even got rolling, 
they demanded that, uh, well, they said the party could keep going on, but no one was allowed to dance. The party did not have a dancing permit, according to the police. Party's organizers said they did have a permit for dancing, but then the city apparently rescinded that by adding extra pages to the permit after the fact and then delivering them to them with the police squad that came out. The police then hung out in the fun zone place for the entirety of the party with a video camera in an attempt to catch anyone who might wiggle there behind. That was uh, the summary of what ultimately was the majority of our show, I think, last night on the, on the program. Jason, your thoughts, uh, since you're right there in the midst of it all. Yeah, hey, sorry to cover some of you guys. Already. You know, I, I just think it's just it's ridiculous because uh, the, my understanding of it is that nobody called in. Uh, nobody complained about it. You know, you're talking huh. about a place that is a – it's a probably, I don't know, 5 to 10 acre uh, place. It, it's really in the middle of nowhere. There's no uh, building uh, – no uh, uh, houses that close to it. Right. Um, you know, they, they have batting cages, bumper cars, uh, go-karts, which are pretty loud, and a driving range and things like that. So, you know, just another overreach of government, uh, busy bodies trying to – you know, Man, the police do, do not like do. fun. I mean, really, they just don't like fun unless no. they've gotten a cut. Then then they can look the other way while you have your fun. But if they don't give you, or if you don't give them, excuse me, enough of a cut, enough of a uh, an obedience payoff, then, uh, then they'll be upset and they'll come in and stop you. Remember the Utah rave story we did like a decade ago? Uh, that uh, was also a horrifying story that came out. I don't know for what neighborhood it was out of there, but... Uh, but that was terrifying. Yeah, that's a little north. Uh, that's north of us, about four hours. But I remember that when they came in and started, uh, you know, they brought the dogs in and the SWAT team and everything. But they brought a yeah, helicopter kind of in. They they broke up an outdoor <laughs> rave that uh, was, you know, away from everything in the mountains, basically. And just just to be a holes, they decided to bring in a SWAT team rappelling down by helicopter and spotlights <laughs> and, I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff. Now this is amazing. You know think, think of how sexy that is. How sexy is that to have guys sw- rappelling? down out of helicopters with automatic weapons and boots. I mean, that is super sexy. I don't know. It doesn't turn know? me on. Jason, is, is it is it the Mormonism in Utah that makes it that way? And because Utah's got a, a reputation for being uh, conservative squares, don't they? Is it, is it just because of the Mormons? Yeah, is there more you know, to it? It's really disappointing because, you know, I happen to be one of those strange creatures. I've called him before that's a libertarian Mormon, and— uh, you know, I think that's part of it. But, you know, if you know the history of the Mormon Church, they should be the most anti-state people in the world. Well, because they indeed. Well, Jason, we heard from somebody last you know? night who says Mormons are all in favor of dancing. So it seems unlikely that it would have been the Mormons who would have come down on this. Yeah, it's it's just, the, you know, it's just the police state. I mean, I was a little disappointed that uh, the St. George police didn't roll out their bear cat because I thought, you know, that would, you know, they've got a big mob of people wearing Halloween costumes. I mean, there's no doubt there could have been a few terrorists mixed in there amongst them. <laughs> so they, they probably should have rolled the bear cat for officer safety. Jason, thanks for calling, man. I appreciate your uh, perspective on this here tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Although, Johnny Ray, maybe you are onto something. Maybe, uh, th- maybe there's certain people within the Mormon church who don't like some types of dancing? Maybe there's only certain types of dancing that's okay? You know, like there's some dancing that most people wouldn't really categorize as dancing. They call it, what, grinding? Yeah, I, I really... I, it's difficult it's for me to call that dancing. It's basically simulated sexual activity <laughs> on the dance floor. On, yeah, yeah with, with clothes on. I mean, Then it, again, that's what they said about the, the dancing... You know, days, days! The Dirty Dancing movie. It was yeah. the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, but dancing itself is just a an an, an analog of sex, sex. anyway. There's That's an right. Argument. I said mattress dancing. There's an argument there. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. But the most important point to you to make to you, Johnny Ray, is this stuff happens in New York City as well, and it has nothing to do with Mormons there. Just control. Free Talk Live. More coming up. 855-450-FREE. Pop quiz, kid. You know it's at 3221 Highway 22? The new Dickinson Granger branch. You know it was there before that? Who cares? There's a Granger branch there now. Granger's got everything we need from inventory management to safety services and solutions. They even have this handy mobile app for easy browsing on the go. Let's head over there and stock up. There's nothing I love more than a new Granger branch, kid, including you. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com slash oil and gas or stop by. Granger. For the ones who get it done. Majid lives in Nordavin, Armenia with his wife, kids, and grandkids all in the same house. 
They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. The experts at web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current web.com customers. We've used and, and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial toll-free to bring up whatever's on your mind here at 855-453. That's 855-453. Four five zero three seven three three. I say, leave the guy, the old guy alone. He's just got some pallets and some stuff on his property that does not call for a team of men with guns arriving in an armored vehicle to basically threaten this man with violence if he doesn't pay up some arbitrary amount of money that the judge is five hundred dollars a day. And, you know, sets this amount back in April of 2013. It totals up to over $80,000. And the guy paid up. Which that, that is, I feel so bad for him. I know that feeling because I, with me, it's always laziness. You know what it's like to be raided by the police? No, but. Armored uh, tank? No, no, not okay. at all. Um I, I don't know what it's like to to be raided by an armored tank, but for me, usually it's it's laziness and inaction, and I conflate that with resistance to the state. And what ends up happening in the end is I pay, I end up em, empowering the state, 
and they they suck me dry. And if I had just meekly bowed my head and moved the pallets in the first place, then I would be more powerful and they would, would be you? less powerful. Why would they be less powerful for your obedience? Because <sighs> eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, but he. But what would have happened had he not paid the eighty thousand ah. dollars? They would have placed a lien on his home, most likely. Were they going to put him in jail? Was there going to be a criminal factor to this? I didn't see anything about that in the in the story. It was just a five hundred dollar a day fine against They're his property. They're leaning his property, yeah. So they would lean his property. He's seventy five years old. I mean, you know, and that his kids don't get the property. Yeah. He wants his kids to get the property. Mm. People, this is a strong human motivation is to take care of your progeny. And, you know, this isn't a I'm not surprised, Ian. I, I know you want everybody to take a bullet for the... I don't want anyone to take a bullet. That would be terrible. I would never advocate... You just advocate, about did. I would never advocate anybody take a bullet. 24 cops showed up in a tank at his house. Uh-huh. Well, the police... Last story we read like that, they set the house on fire. The poor guy was lucky to get out with his life. No doubt. No doubt. Um, you know, the police admit here they're using this as an intimidation tactic. Yeah, they sure do. They want to use it to squeeze money out of people. And I look, I'm, I, look I understand. You got to do what you got to do to take care of your family and all. But the fact is, the more you obey the state, the worse of a world you're leaving for your kids. The more you do what you're told and the more you pay what you're told to pay... Then the more you create this this uh, this whole uh, this spectrum that we have of violence being uh, r- the best thing he could do. I people. disagree. So the best thing he could have done was uh, sold his property before you know move the pallets, sold the property, got out of there, moved someplace else mm-hmm. that uh, that he would have been happier, and that way they you know because sure, at some but he point had a tractor or another business. What's that? He has a tractor business. He's got I understand a pallet that. repair Look, business. Ian, the, the the United States is dotted and the world is dotted with ghost towns. Mm-hmm. At some point or another the bureaucrats run out of people to push around. No doubt. And if you just keep moving for more freedom as many Americans are, we just read a story here on the air where people are moving out of the northeast into lower tax zones all the time. That's a fine thing to to do, Mark. But you know, this guy's lived probably here for a long time. Sure. He's seventy five years old. He's settled in. He's got business. He's what got do you customers. want him to do? He's probably got customers for that business. All it's you're not saying, Ian, is thing. give your property to the state. That's not that's what I'm saying. That's all you're saying. No, that's not what I'm saying. In fact, I'm saying do, do the la- do the reverse you, of that. What do you want to do? Set everything doing doing on fire and salt the earth? S- well, that would be better than giving it to them. But uh, <laughs> stop doing what you're told to do. Stop going along to get along. Try he's saying no. He's 75, Ian. So he's got nothing to lose. Yes, he does. He has the property that he would give to his kids to lose. Then let the lose. kids pay it off if they think that's it's so right. valuable. Screw the kids. You it's know, not there. It's not he, his responsibility to set his kids he's up. He's not his responsibility to do what you want him to do either. You say that he must defend the world for freedom no, in the I future. I didn't say he has to do anything. I, I just don't think you have no solution. All I said was no it's because solution. people obey is why we are the way, why things are the way they are. Indeed. Now, you want to own that? If you, can, if you can own that, embrace it and say, you know what? I'm more afraid of what will happen if I don't obey. So I'm just going to go ahead and obey on everything they tell me to do because that's life. And we just need to do what we're told, right? Well, you can go ahead and own it if you want, if that's what you support. I please. can tell you that if when bureaucrats I, push hard enough that people tend to come out and shoot them. I mean, that's the evidence, historically. I do. I really like your, your solution, Mark. And I would suggest, of course, that he sell his stuff and move and move himself to New Hampshire, of course. But that's still not good enough, Johnny Ray, because there's still bureaucrats wherever you go who will tell you what to do. Now, maybe in New Hampshire they won't tell you as often what to do. I don't tend to think that there's as much regulation in a lot of places of New Hampshire. In fact, in some towns, as we pointed out, there's no zoning whatsoever. So this property probably wouldn't have been a problem in a few places. But in most places, you know, right here in New Hampshire, there was a guy in uh, in Winchester, which is to the south of Keene, where we're located, closer to the border of Massachusetts, there was a guy in Winchester who had some stuff on his property. Some people called it junk to him. They were his, you know, important business tools and treasures and things like that. And they came after him over a series of uh, 10 years, and he he hung himself. So that's, you know, where yep. this can end. Well, but I think that's the- where, I, I think either that or this man sh- having a shootout w- where he's, he knows he's going into it that he's going to lose his life, but he's, but he's going to fight to the to the end to not to obey and to protect his property, and I think that's where it always ends. 
That's the last thing I would recommend. I I would say if you're going to disobey well, the what state, what you recommend you need to though, Ian, is peaceful. giving them everything. Look, no, that's this not guy, what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, it is. That's what's happen. That's what's going to happen. This guy gave him eighty thousand dollars. If he hadn't have given him eighty thousand dollars, he would have given him a two hundred thousand dollar piece of property. I mean, this is you are helping them win with your strategy because you have no other strategy. What's your strategy? My strategy is I told you pay up like my, a sucker. My strategy was was to move the pallets before you got the fine. Obey, okay. Then leave the, then and then sell go the somewhere property else and go someplace and where else. Where is that going to be? Well, in my where I are would, you going to go where you can leave pallets all over your property? Well, you could do it in just about every town in New Hampshire. That's There's no nonsense. zoning. There's no um. No, it's. Uh, well, every town at you are sorry. just okay. about every I town, why not you even close. I understand why you misunderstood me. This is a rural area. I was thinking of rural areas. I have not heard mm -hmm. of a rural area in New Hampshire. Surely there is one where you're not allowed to have farm equipment out and that sort Winchester, of thing. Chester, New Hampshire. There's a man who shot, who uh, hung himself. He's in the city. He's in the town, uh, in the in the village area. Mm -hmm. He's not in a rural area. Mm. This is, you know, he's just in town. I'm not saying that every place is perfect and New Hampshire's perfect. There's a guy over at where you live who's complaining about a cell phone tower. Yeah. If you want to be— He's not going to win. If you want to be left alone, then you— we're all dependent as, you know, whether we like it or not, we're dependent on other people. And if we want to be left alone, we have to be with— there have to be other people, a bunch of other people around us who also want to be no left doubt. alone. But people to—I to, don't know, I can't explain it, I'm— it, New Hampshire can be that place. Some place, any place, New Hampshire has made the greatest strides in that direction to have a place where it, it makes sense to come and and say no because people will understand why you're doing it if you come and you disobey here. Yeah, well, I think that uh, it's not an easy road. It's not one that is not fraught with peril or risk. I mean, there's risk. But where's the reward? Explain to me the reward in this guy saying, I shan't pay your $80,000 and I shan't move my pallets. No, no, there's no. There's no winning against these bureaucrats, Mark. It's a long-term strategy of disobedience to where you wear these people down and they don't go forward with some of these prosecutions anymore. A perfect example is Derek J., our Monday night co-host, was recently in court or he went to court for what was supposed to be a pretrial conference on uh, a parking ticket they threw that parking ticket out because it just wasn't worth going after now that's a big difference in a five dollar parking ticket to an eighty thousand dollar fine no doubt about it but the theory is the same if people stop obeying the state has no power anymore that's they true have nothing. But you need to be concentrated enough because the state isn't just the state that's right it's a cartel it's a cartel of municipalities it's a cartel of states it's a cartel of uh, the federal government and all their puppet governments around the world so when you spread out your action you spread out your disobedience because that's what you're proposing here is disobedience then they have the ability to take care of it however if three four five, ten people in the same town did something like this, the town would absolutely be forced into some kind of action. So, yes, my idea is to get out of whatever tyrannical place you are, create as few waves in that situation as you can, get to New Hampshire, get to some place that's more free, and live the life that's better for you. If if disobedience is that that thing, then get here to New Hampshire. Right, absolutely. I totally agree. That no, no, you don't. You're saying, hey, activism. throw away $200,000 in assets that you worked your whole that's life for. That's not what I was saying. Uh, what I'm saying is, in general, it's a general statement about uh, why things are the way they are. People obey, so they get more obe they get more laws demanding their obedience. That much is true. And if you want that to ever stop, then you have to be the one who does something about it. Now, I recommend what you're saying, Mark, and that is to come to a place where people care about freedom. But that's not an option for everybody, or at least it doesn't feel like one for everybody, especially people who are tied down with business and family obligations in certain places. It's Free Talk Live. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner of his ransacked apartment, wondering what kind of nitwit steals a futon. Luckily, the Geico Insurance Agency had helped him with renter's insurance, and he got full replacement. Unfortunately, Little Jack Horner had to have his stomach pumped when he ate a six-month-old Christmas pie. Visit geico.com to see how affordable renter's insurance can be. 
talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, Mark, at freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the Realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com the three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, October 28th, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.25 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,229 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $360. Antiwar.com reports the U.S. Army has announced that it intends to quarantine every single U.S. soldier returning from deployment to Liberia out of an abundance of caution about the possibility of Ebola exposure. Dozens of soldiers have already been placed in 21-day quarantine in Italy over the weekend, including Major General Daryl Williams, the outgoing commander of the operations in Liberia. Expanded across the operation, this would cover 882 troops already assigned to the area as well as thousands of additional troops that are en route for the ever-expanding anti-Ebola campaign. The White House downplayed the announcement, saying it did not represent a shift in Defense Department policy, but rather the decision of a single commander, and hinted that the announcement was not set in stone and could be subject to change. The move is still a surprise, as the administration has taken officials in New York and New Jersey to task for trying very similar Ebola quarantine standards, saying they are burdening the doctors and nurses who have traveled there. You can support FPP Radio by joining the Fans Program. Fans are friends, allies, and numerous supporters. Fans help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the Fans Program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot FPPradio.com. The Associated Press reports while Congress mulls how to curtail the NSA's collection of Americans' telephone records, impatient civil liberties groups are looking to legal challenges already underway in courts to limit government surveillance powers. Three appeals courts are hearing lawsuits against the bulk phone records program, creating the potential for an eventual Supreme Court review. Judges in lower courts, meanwhile, are grappling with the admissibility in terror prosecutions of evidence gained through the NSA's warrantless surveillance. At Advocates say the flurry of activity, which follows revelations last year by former NSA contractor Edward Snowden of once secret intelligence collection programs, shows how a post 9 11 surveillance debate, once primarily hashed out among lawmakers in secret, is being increasingly aired in open court, not only in New York and Washington, but in places like Idaho and Colorado. Though it's unclear whether the Supreme Court will weigh in, the cases are proceeding at a time when the justices appear increasingly comfortable taking up 
digital privacy matters, including GPS tracking of cars and police searches of cell phones. American University law professor Stephen Vladek said the cases come at a critical turning point for the Supreme Court when it comes to expectations of privacy and digital information. Revelations that the government was collecting bulk phone records of millions of Americans who were not suspected of crimes forced a rethinking of the practice, and President Obama has called for it to end, though has not acted on doing so. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Reuters reports Toronto voters replaced their notorious mayor, Rob Ford, on Monday and rejected an attempt by his brother to take the city's top job, electing instead a conservative politician and broadcaster who promised to unite the city divided by four years of scandal and vitriol. John Tory, a former progressive conservative party leader in Ontario, won the election in a closer-than-expected race, according to the city's election website, fighting off a strong challenge by the mayor's brother, Doug Ford. With about 99% of the ballots counted in Canada's largest city, Toronto's election website showed Tory with 40.3% of the vote, ahead of Doug Ford's 33.8%. Rob Ford withdrew from the mayor's race in September after being diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of cancer. He threw his support to his brother, a city councillor, who took his place on the mayoral ballot. Tory, writing on a groundswell of anyone but Ford sentiment, was endorsed by every major newspaper in Toronto, home to about 6 million people. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Shortly after members of the New York Police Department found a super sharp Buck brand pocket knife earlier this morning, Lieutenant Joseph Mattioli spoke to Onion reporters at the scene of the discovery to update the public on this potentially deadly blade. At 8.40 a.m., police discovered what seems to be a pretty badass Buck knife. Investigators believe it to be basically the deadliest knife ever. Mattioli confirmed that the pretty cool wood-handled knife has a clean edge and added that the blade must be, quote, at least like eight inches long. At this time, we'd like everyone to be aware that there's probably a man out there with an eye patch and scars all over his face that has access to these knives, or maybe even a samurai sword. We urge people to be careful when approaching him because he may flip out and chop both your arms off before you even realize it. Following the announcement, Mattioli asked people to come forward if they had any information about the owner of the knife or if they just wanted to hold it for a couple of seconds. For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review. This is the Onion News Network. Wait, man. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free here. Bring up anything you want. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. Coming up, we've got the John Cantley video. We failed, or I failed, uh, to be more specific, at uh, in the last hour playing back. The Washington Post version started to speed up in its audio for some reason, <laughs> uh, making John Cantley sound more like uh, John and the Chipmunks. Uh, so we'll get into the hopefully better audio here in just a few moments from his latest propaganda video as released by the people claiming to be ISIS. First, though, we go to your phone calls and thoughts. Uh, it's Ian, Johnny Ray, and Mark in the studio here, and we go to Chris listening in St. George uh, in Utah to KZNU. Hello, Chris. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, Chris. Good. What's on your mind tonight? Uh, so I just want to throw it out there. I heard Jason talk a little while ago, and I actually know Jason. Great guy. You guys asked him, do you think it's the, the Mormon thing here? Um, I think that sometimes you're, people Just use, to clarify what you're talking about for our listeners just tuning in. Sorry. Uh, there was a uh, – there was not quite a raid, but a police crackdown, I guess, if you will, on a dance party there in St. George over the weekend on Friday night. They said there was no dancing allowed. They need a permit for dancing, and despite – the organizers thinking they had a permit for dancing. The police showed them a handwritten note that said they have no dancing permit. And then they hung around for a while with a video camera to make sure nobody uh, was sh doing any shaking uh, to the music. So that's what happened. And there was some discussion about 
Johnny Ray was asking, well, is this the Mormon uh, influence that is leading to this kind of, uh, this unfun, uh, this crackdown? Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to throw out there that I think sometimes people use the religion, like, you know, um, it, just like I think sometimes people get into the police department so they can use the police department. So I, I just want to throw, I don't think it is the Mormon thing, but I think they definitely use that as their reasoning for taking away liberties. Wait, wait, okay, sense? so when you say they use that, who's using the Mormon thing as their reason? The government guys or the Mormons? Yeah, I think so. I think they use... I think they use because the idea of it, and you guys talked about the grinding and stuff. You know, no one even knows if the kids were going to be doing inappropriate things, right? I mean, they're they're keeping mm -hmm. them from dancing because they're just assuming that, and they understand that a large population is Christian and Mormon. So I think they use that. Yeah, any any would be tyrant will use the religion to further their own tyrannical ends, petty petty tyrant or Thank otherwise. Exactly. That's what, I just wanted to point that out. I mean, we use stuff, and I use stuff. I'm actually, I'm running for office. And I won't, I'm not trying to publicize myself, but I use a political party to run, and we all use it. I just wanted to throw that out there, though. When you ask for the Mormon thing, that's my thought. All right, is, Chris. Sure, they use it, but I don't. I don't know if I'd blame it on that. So. Yep. It's, thanks for the call tonight. I don't blame the Mormons personally. I just uh, thanks. I, I think it's just people that want to control others, and those people come from all stripes. Yes, they do. And the reason I asked is because it seems insane to me that that. They would break up a party and watch to make sure there was no dancing happening. But maybe this sort of thing happens everywhere, and I just don't know it. Well, I don't know how far and wide this is, but I do know that in New York they still have cabaret licenses. So right there in you know urban New York City where people are supposed to be all kind of progressive, uh, you can't have dancing there either. So whether it's a small town in Utah or the biggest city in the United States, uh, the same thing is is true. you, you, you got to have government permission to shake your booty. Um, you know, on the on the Johnny Ray tip, I grew up listening to Rush, and and I was a big fan Rush of traditionalism. Limbaugh? Yeah, okay. Uh, traditionalism as a concept was 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 strong in me because mm. I was a stupid kid, and I recognized that I was a stupid kid, and I wanted to, and I hoped that I could rely on the traditions. To provide you the best uh, path Guidance, in life, yeah, and they but, must be traditions for a reason, right? Yeah, and argumentum now, ad antiquium. <laughs> And I have since rejected traditionalism oh, because yeah. I don't, I can't trust it anymore, and I and I feel a little sad about that because I'm kind of messed up and stupid still. And I don't know when tradition gets mixed up with the state, and well, it is a tradition to pay your taxes. Um, and I don't know what I'm, I'm saying anymore, but tradition getting mixed up with the state, I think. <laughs> I don't think you're, you should talk bad about yourself, Johnny Ray. You it's are not a stupid of, man. You're very intelligent. It's, it's, it's part of my rejection of traditionalism itself. Yeah, and, I'm no fan of, uh, of traditions either. I have respect for self-created traditions. Like if you've created like amongst a group right. of friends or family or something, a ritual, something that you do that's fun and that uh, you know is done on a periodic basis – that's cool. I like that. I have respect for that. But to just Festivus. So that, that's that would count for some people. Um, but for others, you know, there's these long running things that nobody really knows why they're done, why they're done the way they're done. They are just done. And so it's expected that they should be done with you in your life. But turns out that when you break away from some of that stuff, like going to college, getting married, having children, you know, having the same job all the way through retirement. I don't know if you want to qualify all those as traditions, but uh, they seem that way in some aspects. Doing all of that uh, may not be the best thing for you. In fact, maybe your life will be better if you don't have children. Maybe your life will be better if you didn't go to college and spent all that money on uh, an education that maybe you didn't really need or wasn't helpful to you at all to get ahead in life. Those are the sort of things, though, that you never really know. Right, like well, you can't compare apples to uh, how, apples. How can you know if you're going to have a better life if you go to college uh, when straight out of high school than if you don't? Because you're not. Mostly, what my problem with uh, college is is that people think they have to go, yeah. and you send the we send in many cases the most unqualified of uh, the population to go to four year universities. I mean, meaning people who don't know what the hell they want to do in life. Yeah, people who's who's like, whoa, are you kidding me? I'm getting out of mom and dad's house. I can do whatever I want. Uh, you know, riot. That's, yeah, that's what it seems uh, mostly like uh, to me. Yeah. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. We've got Warren in New York. You're on Free Talk Live, Warren. 
Yeah, you know who it is, man. It's Lauren, dude. The guy messed up my name, but that's regular stuff. You know what I mean? Lauren. But, All right, go ahead. Yeah, man. Yo, this Ebola thing is starting to get serious, man. And I'm thinking that it's going to be, you know what I mean, a new apocalyptic like, situation that's going to go down. Apocalyptic? Did something happen today with Ebola? No, nah, man, but it's spreading bad, man. Someone's got it in it. New York, Mark. I don't know if you saw that headline a couple yeah, days ago. Yeah, I know. Like a five-year-old kid is getting tested for it, and the doctor came back with it. So you yeah. think so. the Ebola is going to be an apocalypse, meaning that you think it'll be widespread and destructive? Yeah, widespread, man. Total chaos, pandemonium. What makes you, you think that? Mean? Because, man, there's no cure for it, dude. I don't there's know. Like, I heard some people heard got that. cured recently. I heard there is a cure. They're working on a serum. I think it's the, the people's immune systems that are that are killing. They're fighting it, it off. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so there are three confirmed cases um, in the U.S. Ebola contact tracing Dallas, Texas. Doesn't really sound like an epidemic to me, Warren. Uh, Lauren, I'm not sure oh, what. Yeah, I mean the incubation period is 21 days. That's right? correct. So I think like a month from now is going to be widespread, bro. But so, what, you know what do I mean? you think it's what a super weapon? Does it make? I mean, what you what you and I think about Ebola, what difference does it make? I mean, because it's either going to do what it's going to do or it's not going to do what it's not going to do. And, you know, the only thing you can do is choose to stay in your house, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I pray to God I know God is going to protect me, man. You know what I mean? Because I, I have a mission in life. Well, well then what are you worried whoa, whoa, whoa. about? Do you have a lucky rabbit's foot? Excuse me? Do you have a lucky rabbit's foot? No, nah, man. God does not protect people God. without lucky rabbit's feet. What as you, oh no wait a minute if you are so certain you're protected then why are you so concerned I'm concerned because I don't want people to die bro you know what I mean why would I, God, they, they just need to pray right wait a minute why I, would God protect you but not those other hold people on. hold on brother listen if I die to a bowl if I die young God mm. wills it that's void you know what I mean so now you but do now want... you're admitting there is a chance you might uh, you might die. I mean, either way, I don't, I don't care, dude. You know what I mean? Well, if you I don't know, care, I'm why are you calling to stir up fear? fear? Why, why are you I'm calling? I'm not stirring up fear at all. Ian, Ian, listen to me. You sound I like someone who Obama cares to me. To be successful in his mission. To you don't want what? The world with Ebola. He, he wants to affect the world with the Ebola. Him and his Illuminati overlord. <laughs> I know it. Because, um, listen, Ebola so was made by, by the, the lizard US. people. No, by the UN. No, and the UN's run by lizard people, right, Lauren? Well, duh. Nah. Oh, you're mean, not one of those why do you guys? Always have to, every time when I call in, brother, you always have to talk about lizard people. Uh, because you said Lorna. you liked it at one point. That was, it was one he of your conspiracy that, theories. He? Yeah. Hey, well, I'm, I'm with you, Lauren. I think that uh, this Ebola was cooked up at a bioweapons facility in uh, Sierra Leone. <laughs> thanks, Sierra Leone. <laughs> thanks for the call, uh, Warren. You can take control of the airwaves here. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Toyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 
Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. An amateur sailor has announced his plans to sail around the world to decrease awareness of important global issues. 29-year-old Michael Gilmer will cover approximately 28,000 nautical miles over three months, all the while drawing attention away from famine afflicting several African nations, revolution in the Middle East, flooding in Thailand, and economic instability across five continents. The goal here is to really make people think about a young, overconfident on an expensive boat rather than the pressing matters of substance that actually affect people's lives. As Gilmer set off on his journey Thursday, something was happening in Washington. In local news, a cute eight-year-old is beginning to realize how much better she is than ugly girls. Since I'm cute and they're not, that means that they're not as good as me. In other news, a slaughterhouse worker is told to stop naming them all. And sure, an area man can watch your cat while his life is falling apart, no problem. You have just participated in a large-scale psychological research study. Please fill out the attached liability waiver and send it to the onion.com slash newsbeat. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever's on your mind. Just dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's the ProXPN toll-free line. If you care about your online privacy, please look into ProXPN. You can actually go and try it out for free just go to proxpn.com slash FTL, download their software there. It's a project that will encrypt your data connection, meaning your internet service provider. Once you start using ProXPN, your ISP won't know what you're doing online anymore. Right now, your ISP is probably logging the websites you visit, the search terms you enter. They might be keeping that information as long as five years in some cases. You can stop that from happening by encrypting your internet connection with ProXPN. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Software is there for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, Android devices, Linux users. Setup's a little different for you, but you can get it rolling pretty easily. Go to pro xpn.com slash ftl when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account you'll get unlimited bandwidth servers around the world you can access you can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites and pro xpn doesn't keep records of your online habits at all it's all there with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee on that premium account you'll want to use these codes there's two codes one of them's for those of you who are not paying with bitcoin you'll save 50 percent on an annual account if you use code ftl50 and if you are paying with Bitcoin on the annual account, you'll get 62% off by using code FTLBTC. So you get it all over there at proxpn.com slash FTL. Codes are FTL50 and FTLBTC. Get a great discount on privacy. That is priceless. Johnny Ray, you actually agreed with Lauren, who called in earlier. I mean, he's a notorious conspiracy theorist. We actually haven't heard from him in quite a while. I feel like it's been a, a year since... Uh, Lauren has I called heard the it, show. I think he called it on Sunday. Oh, did he? But prior to that, it it has been a while. It has been a break, yes. Uh, at least since I had heard from him. And normally he calls in with some absurd conspiracy theory based on paranoia um, and fear-mongering, etc. But Johnny Ray, you, you sound like you were buying into the idea that the Ebola thing is some sort of a plot, that someone, some shadowy group is behind this. What's, what's your viewpoint on this, Johnny Ray? 
Well, I don't think that the the shadowy people are are. I, I think it was a mistake. I think that there is research going mm-hmm. on where just as we might take some DNA from a sea anemone and put it into our corn to make the corn do, you know, whatever we want it to do that the sea anemone Ian has do. never taken DNA from a sea anemone and put it in corn. <laughs> we, as in all of us, uh, all of humanity and our <laughs> genetically modified organisms, I think it's it's silly to think that the that the U.S. military and the whole defense apparatus wouldn't be experimenting and creating genetically modified viruses, creating bioweapons, regardless of any treaties that it might be be bound by. And you believe that there is some sort of location in Sierra Leone where that's going on? Yes. Is there a military base or some sort of military installation there? There are. There are. I'm going to have to get the exact uh, name for you. Sierra Leone is known as one of the world's worst countries. Uh, It's usually down at the very bottom three, uh, like, you know, just above North Korea. Well, Uh, Yemen's down there, too, and the United States doesn't have any problem funding them and getting mm -hmm. whatever they want from their dictators. Well, you know, I don't think that means anything particularly. I have to say, Johnny Ray, that if it's going to be, if it turns out that this came from the government, this Ebola situation then it would make more sense that it was a mistake than on purpose right because if it was on purpose then they failed miserably because the, you know ebola isn't the worst it's not the baddest of the bad things that could be released onto mankind as far as you know it's supposedly not airborne uh you have to come into contact with somebody's bodily fluids typically uh and they have to be showing the symptoms as well for it to be contagious in the first place so i mean as far as as far as bad stuff that could be released viruses and things like that ebola is definitely not the worst of uh, of scenarios so if it was something they were trying to do on purpose they failed at that but if it was an accident that does there's a little bit of plausibility there johnny Ray. yes or they realized that it that this ebola this new strain of ebola that they've developed it, it could be something that they've introduced purposefully in order to create fear uh knowing that it wouldn't that it that it was good for creating fear, but maybe but not it killing wouldn't, people. Yeah, but maybe it wouldn't kill a lot of people. That's an, another interesting theory. Let's go to you with your calls and thoughts. Bill's in Massachusetts. You're on Free Talk Live, Bill. Hi, Ian. Hey, hey um, I had a quick question for you guys. Yes, sir. About conspiracy theories, about absurd, outrageous, crazy theories. Um, because I hear people call in, and when they have any type of information that goes in a certain direction that you guys can get a little bit insulting to them. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to know that when the, let's say a president comes out on TV and announces a plan uh, for a world government, and they get right up on TV, it's on CNN and everything, and they announce who's going to be doing the plan and uh, how they've implemented it. And then you see it implemented, and you see it all happening in your town, in Keene, in Montague, in Greenfield, and across the country. And you see the plan happening, and it's announced by every other president after the first one in 1991. At what point do you guys stop calling people that call in outrageous conspiracy theorists? Which people have we— Wait wait a second. Yeah, you you're I'm asking you asked a question. I shall I, I want to rebut with a question. It's all there. Who have we called outrageous conspiracy theorists besides Lauren? Um, it I listen quite often, and it's quite often. I don't think it happens that you know, cause, often. Cause I, look, cause I, I think that there is a one world government, have, and it's in I Washington D.C. Everything you guys have to say, but at the same time, I want to try to, you know accept what you have to say and not try to, you know, just call you names and stuff. You know, I think I there, go, well, I think there is a one world government, you know, but I agree with them on 80 percent of this other stuff. So, you know, those guys are cool. Mm. We're, you know, 80 percent, 20 percent. They're crazy and outrageous, you know, but I'm not going to, you know, just call you. Do you that. believe Hopefully. in lizard people, Bill? No, see, that's a whole different distraction. Well, you that's what Lauren study. believes. He he denied you it today. You call it a distraction. He de- I'll call the 9-11 conspiracy he, theory a distraction. He denied it today, well, I'm a, I'm Bill, but in the past but he has welder. said— 
Bill? I'm a welder, so I know for a fact that 9-11 is an inside job because I would okay. be cutting with diesel fuel every day at work. I want to talk about particular. lizard people, though. Uh, look, Bill, just so you know, I don't want Lauren— to, I don't want to talk about lizard well, people. Well, see— that's People that study this, they realize that the lizard people distract. That's a distraction to get you then away. From why are you saying United that it's such a problem? We're calling out Lauren for his United lizard Nations people World stuff. Governance. He can't hear you when you're talking can. over top of him. Well, I, if you let him Sorry. go, he doesn't stop. Bill, uh, Mark's Sorry. trying to speak to you. Can you uh, give him a moment here to get a word out, Ed- Edwin? Sure. Okay. So Lauren has called in on more than one occasion talking about lizard people. I don't take anybody who talks about lizard people seriously because I suppose you could call them a distraction. So do I want to hold Lauren accountable for the things he's said in the past? I do. Well, you see, the thing is, when see, I, I kind of have some respect for people like David Icke and stuff. Who, they believe in lizard people, I know, which is weird, but they have a lot to offer humanity yeah. in other I like a lot of what uh, David Icke says about spirituality right. and things that's, like that, Bill. I mean, I, I don't reject somebody out of hand just because they believe in conspiracy theories. There's conspiracy yeah. theories out there. Some of them are Martin true, but does. I just believe Martin that, Bill, I believe that uh, a lot of conspiracy theories are a time waster for people, and I thank you, you for the call tonight. In a conspiracy theory. Okay, thank you for the call. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I don't need a conspiracy theory to show me that there's a police state out there. I mean, that's pretty real. It's pretty clear. It's Free Talk Live. Hi, folks. Ronnie McMullen here for Life Change Tea. Healthcare is a problem, whether you're for or against Obamacare. It's a mess. My question is, who do you trust? Do you want to be told what to do, or do you want to make your own decision? My opinion, preventative maintenance. Keeping your colon clean is preventative maintenance. A little exercise, a balanced diet, and drinking Life Change Tea. It tastes great. And it helps with constipation, high cholesterol, liver problems, acid reflux, and much, much more. And with the holiday season upon us, you can get some extra tea for free. Don't wait for Obama. Make your own decision. Order now. Call us at 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Or you can log on to getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Ridding yourself of harmful toxins is truly preventative maintenance. Get the tea.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. 
Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a mm. license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration of the Department of Health, Education, and Wealth. Fair and of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come you to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever's on your mind. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us here and join us via Skype if, uh, if you like. We're on Skype at username lrn.fm to send a contact request over. It will be approved. And once it is approved, you can easily reach us on Skype from that point forward. With you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Go get a free pound of coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com. It's there for you, a free pound of the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica beans. You don't have to agree with us or disagree with us on Free Talk Live to get your free pound of coffee. Just go to coffee.freetalklive.com. And when you continue to get your coffee, because it's a subscription program, you can cancel it at any time. But you get your free pound there. And if you decide you like it, continue to get your coffee from there. And we'll be able to help people around the world through kiva.org. We're giving uh, the, some of the proceeds are given back to us, and then we're giving those on to kiva.org. And that's the reason I'm participating in this program is, is because Buzzbox makes it possible for us to help people around the world through microloans. It's not a handout, it's a hand up. When they get when they pay that money back, we're going to give it to somebody else. It's coffee.freetalklive.com to get started. All right, so I just I was more comments here on what Bill had to say there a moment ago. Bill has been calling the show for a while. We've actually met Bill in person a number of times. He lives in the region here. Um, he's a supporter of Cop Block and uh, just generally a, a, a nice guy, but he's been upset at us from time to time on the airwaves here because, well, most of us on the show aren't uh, true believers in every conspiracy theory that comes along. And neither is Bill, as we just discovered. Bill doesn't believe in the lizard people conspiracy theory. So everybody has their limitations. Everybody has their, you know, theories that they think are bunk. And you're entitled to your opinion, certainly. Now, um, on Free Talk Live... You can share your opinion with us and with everybody listening. Unlike most talk shows, where if you call in to talk about you know, why you think Ebola is a conspiracy or lizard people or 9-11 truth or whatever it is that your deal is, you're probably not even going to make it through the phone screener, let alone on the air with the actual host. So one thing's for sure is Bill and Lauren and everybody else who has something they want to share, they've always, always been able to do that. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to sit here and nod our heads and say, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. You're right on. Well, well this is the reason we lost. Remember Callis Bell, Montana, that station right. out there? Yeah, KGZ. 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 Um, and we lost that station because we didn't agree s sufficiently enough with the conspiracy theorist crowd that was uh, sort of populated that that station. Yeah. And you know we got censored, as it were, not in a not in a uh, sort of illegal fashion. Just yeah, we don't want your kind around here. Kind of uh, censorship. Now, one thing that Free Talk Live does that no other show is going to do is you know, try calling Alex Jones with whatever you want to talk about. You may or may not get on. It's unlikely you will because there's lots of callers and yeah, he's busy monologuing. His, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what his phone policy is. I don't either. But I know what Free Talk Lives is, and you can call in with anything, and we may or may not agree with you, but you will get out on dozens and dozens of radio stations. Sometimes one of us Maybe will agree and others won't. Johnny Ray was sort of on board with this whole Ebola is a conspiracy thing. Um, so, look, I think that your viewpoint should get out. And if I have a viewpoint that says, you know, somewhat different, I'm going to let that out there, too. And I think that conspiracy theories in general 
are a waste of time. Whether or not Ebola was some sort of mistake by a military research lab or whether Ebola just happened naturally or whatever really doesn't matter to me. What matters is what are they what are they doing now? Are they locking people down? Are they taking people's freedom away? Yeah, there's some quarantine provisions in place in New York and New Jersey that are particularly restrictive. I've heard Illinois also got them now. Uh, so there's some disturbing stuff going on there. Is there a police state? A bill was suggesting that, you know, look around, you're living in a conspiracy. Okay, yeah, there's no doubt that there have been people who have for years been conspiring, but most of it's been done openly, to control people, to increase the amount of militarization of the police for the purposes of putting more control in place over people. I don't need to know the transcript of the Bilderbergers meeting where they made those decisions to know that that's something that's happening. It doesn't matter to me if it was Barack Obama or his handlers, the people pulling the strings, the Bilderbergers, the Trilateral Commission, the CFR. To me, the names and the places are irrelevant to what's actually happening. I don't care which city councilors in uh, this town we were talking about earlier in Wisconsin voted to send the police with 24 men and a bear cat after a 75-year-old man for not paying some fines on his property, his junky property. To me, the details of who and the, and the where are less important than the what. This is what's happening. You could be next. This guy had a messy yard and he had two dozen cops and a tank come after him. That's what's relevant information, not the fact that some rich muckety mucks and politicians get together and have conversations about this stuff. What Who's I surprised by that? What I think is important is what Free Talk Live tries to do is point out how power is used uh, in a corrupt fashion. And if you try to point out who is using power in a corrupt fashion, you quickly move into a us and them mentality. And what the us and them mentality says to me is, is we want them out of power so that we can get into power. And then the power will then corrupt you guys who got in, who just got into power. That's the reason I don't like to play this game with, um, I know who the secret bad guys are, mm. and I know what organizations that they populate. Because the chances are, if it filters down to you and me, that those organizations, if they did, if that was where the secret bad guys were, they have moved on to other organizations, and now those organizations are populated by probably useless pawns or something. Because the idea is is that the average person can somehow figure out the machinations and the inner thoughts of the dark cabals of the most evil men in the world. And I just I just don't believe you can if these evil men are out there and they're as smart and as powerful as you say. I I just I find it plausible that those people exist. Yeah. I just know that being obsessed with who they are but and I where also they don't are think they work well together is unhealthy. You know, I really find it difficult to believe that the, oh, yeah. <laughs> the, it's the, the legion of doom, these super villains can somehow get Sit around together. Sit a round table. Yeah, and, and decide that they're going to, yeah, and get yeah. along. I mean, you know, you would think that they would have the most deep rooted uh, upsets with each other. No, they they got to be fighting over yeah, power. There, there has to be level. huge infighting among these people. And it's it's so much easier to, to just say, oh, yeah, this group is doing that thing. And then once the news happens to kind of warp it around whatever the story is, just keep wrapping it back in, keep well, the, wrapping it back in. The different mafias of the world will work together so long as it suits their interest and for as long as it suits their interest, and then they can turn on one another if and necessary. They do. So, uh, you know, I think it's important to not get lost in the weeds, and I feel like the conspiracy theories uh, are the weeds. It's something to, you know, Bill, Bill correctly saw the lizard people conspiracy theory as a distraction. That's definitely a distraction. But that's how I view, view most of the conspiracy theories. Right. Now, Johnny I've got to be wrong on some of these, right? Yeah. And Lauren's got to be wrong on some of these, and Bill's got to be wrong on some of these. That's what If you think that one of these people isn't wrong on something, then, you know, you're you're myopic. Well, that's why I don't like to take a position on a lot of this stuff. I mean, I don't believe the government story about 9-11, but I also don't believe the conspiracy stories either. I don't know what the truth is, and I'm not going to spend any moment of the rest of my life trying to figure it out. 
Because to me, it doesn't matter. What matters is the government's getting bigger. They're getting more intrusive, more oppressive, more expensive as every day passes. And there's all kinds of evidence for that. We don't have to look far to find a story of an old man being, you know, nearly crushed by a, a tank and 24 armed men who come after him for some junk in his yard. I mean, that's that's insane. And it's real. And I don't have to prove to anyone that that happened. And tomorrow there's going to be some new crazy story. If I go to photographyisnotacrime.com right now, I can find five stories easily within the last five days about photographers, video and still photographers, who've been threatened, who've been intimidated, who've been arrested by the police. Is there a conspiracy theory to, uh, you know, to stop photography? Maybe. I don't know. But I know they are trying to stop photography. I know they are threatened by it. 855 450 free. So I want to know what's happening. I don't care so much about the machinations behind it all. But if you do, you're welcome to spend all your free time on it, like lots of conspiracy people. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. America was built by people with a few dollars and a dream. And while many don't know it, there's one path to success that still only requires a dream and about $10. That's right. If your dream is to start or grow your business, something as simple as the right business card could make all the difference. And today at Vistaprint.com, you can get 500 full-color business cards for only $9.99. That's right. Only $9.99. Just go to Vistaprint.com and enter promo code 8989 at checkout. That's Vistaprint.com. Promo code code 8989 with autumn in the air it's time to think about getting ready for winter and it's time to save at herbalhealer.com you'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season like oregacillin to promote lung health 30 capsules regularly 34.95 now only 25 dollars HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95 now. 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95. 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu fighting products. Also Explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. Woo! That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. 
This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want here. Toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. You can get interactive there. And if you like what we're doing on Free Talk Live, then please shop with us. Go to shop.freetalklive.com. There are links to Amazon there. Amazon UK, Amazon Canada, and Amazon US. You just click into the right Amazon for you and buy whatever it is you need to buy. I just ordered a couple of uh, those fast memory card things, SD cards, going to get some 64 gig cards for the recording of Keenvention, which is coming up. We'll tell you more about Keenvention in a little bit, but like to video record all of the events and uh, having bigger cards means I don't have to change them as often. So I got them for 30 bucks a pop. Pretty amazing deal. Memory is getting cheaper and cheaper. Yeah, it sure does. Uh, so you can go and get whatever you need through shop.freetalklive.com and in a lot of cases have it delivered to you for free. With the free Super Saver shipping option, the reviews are still the same. The prices are still the same. The selection is what you expect. It's the same Amazon experience you're used to. You're just entering through our website, through our affiliate links, so Free Talk Live gets a cut of the sale. Now, Johnny Ray, uh, you've been listening here as Mark and I have sort of gone off on this conspiracy uh, theory rant. No, I haven't been listening. I've been feverishly trying to find a link between Sierra Leone and the U.S. military <laughs> bioweapons research. Well, just to recap briefly for you, I feel like conspiracy theory is a big waste of people's time. Now, if that's your hobby, everybody's got to have a hobby, and you know, if that's what you like to do is to dig into this rabbit hole, then you know, by all means, you got to do what you got to do to entertain yourself. It doesn't seem like yourself. it'd make you very a hobby that would make you very happy. No, certainly not. If that's what you do to entertain yourself, or keep yourself interested in life then you know who am i tell, to tell you not to do that i'm just telling you how i feel about it and i feel like it's a big waste of time i know there's a police state i know that the government's getting bigger and more oppressive than ever we see evidence of it every single day that we don't have to guess about we don't have to th- speculate and theorize about the melting temperature of steel and what one scientist says over another scientist and fighting forever like these not you know the 9-11 truth folks do but uh, and I also think that the rabbit hole is a dangerous one as well. Because as you pointed out, Mark, it's not something that you're going to feel necessarily happy about at the end of the day. I mean, if what you're doing is you're reading conspiracy theory about how there's a group of people who are in control of all of the governments and the media in the world, and they want to eliminate 80% of the population from the face of the planet, and that you know they want to control and destroy, and et cetera, et cetera. It's a very... Uh, a very kind of depressing viewpoint, and it's one from which there's no real solution, right? Because the theory is that these people are in total control of the globe, that the Barack Obamas and George Bushes of the world are just their puppets, and so, you know, you elect electing people isn't going to solve the problem because these co- shadowy cabals are the ones running the show, and so what can you really do about it? I mean, ultimately, if those things are true then the answer from the conspiracy world is print some more DVDs and distribute the truth, right? That's all they've got because there's no real solution, is there? Isn't there a place for that, though? What do you mean? A Isn't place there for a what? place for, for education? Yeah, absolutely there is. But not if the point of the education ultimately is that it's hopeless, right? That's the answer to this. That's the where the conspiracy rabbit hole leads is – you you learn the more you learn about these conspiracies the more you come to understand or believe that it's a total conspiracy to control everything and that they are already in control and that they're putting more controls in place and that there's brainwashing and chemicals and you know engine human engineering and all kinds of crazy it's all kinds of crazy uh, that's not going to lead people to believe in a future that's not going to lead them to have hope 
uh, for freedom. And I think that ultimately it's a very but that's dis- a practical concern. Either those things are happening; they're they're you know warping our minds with fluoride in the water, or they're or they aren't. And what your thoughts on the fluoride in the water doesn't really matter. Like if you think that's a practical way to be bring people to human freedom, it doesn't matter they are or they aren't. Well, at least with fluoride in the water, you can filter your water and you can solve that problem, right? Like that's something that you can handle. Uh, but uh, a lot of the conspiracy theory leads down to the end game of this is this group. They're in control, whether you call them the Bilderbergers or the Trilateral Commission or whoever. They're in control. And what the hell are you going to do about it? You think Ron Paul is going to stop them? You think you think Clearly Ron not. Paul, Rand Paul, whoever is the, the next hero of the moment? I mean, if these people are as ensconced and in power as the conspiracy crew believes they are, then all of this is futile, isn't it? What are you going to do if you wake enough people up to it? What's that going to do? What are they going to ra- raid the Bilderberg meeting every year and shout? <laughs> I mean, what what can you realistically do about that? It it to some extent, and and I don't know. I don't have an answer to that question. And the just print pro- some more DVDs. And the just problem print. with the conspiracy theory stuff is you don't know what to believe and what not to believe. There's enough sure. factoids and truthy information out there on both sides um, that you know it gets very it gets very both sides. There's more than one side to the conspiracy oh, yes. world. But There's conspiracies about I just mean the yes no side. I mean, when you start digging down this rabbit hole, and then you start encountering the conspiracies about the conspiracies. So there's one of them that's about the network we're on, Genesis Communications Network. Oh, well, their CIA front group, say some of the conspiracy theorists. Ian Freeman is a uh, federal agent. There's a website about that out there. So, I mean, there's all kinds of just crazy conspiracy out there. And, and how do you determine what's real and what's not? I don't know. And that's really the, the very difficult and frustrating part is, is that there's, you know, no way to parse through all this information and decide what the truth is and what isn't. And at some point, it begins to look like the paranoid schizophrenics got together on the Internet and came up with their crazy stories, you know, and got them together. Because I can tell you, if you had these theories 20 or 30 years ago, those are the words that would be would be lobbed against you. I'm not saying that everybody who believes these is a paranoid schizophrenic, not by any stretch of the imagination. But at some point or another, we had this lady who would come into this gym where I used to be a personal trainer, and she'd talk about the black helicopters that were following her. Mm, Oh, boy. I'm reasonably certain there were no black helicopters following this lady. So they had turned away before she got to the gym because you would have heard them outside, right? At some point. No, they're silent. I got tired of (laughs) having this conversation. No, they are. They're silent. (laughs) No, I never heard that a helicopter could be silent. That's news to me. I got tired of having that conversation over and over again with her. Uh, You know, I just didn't know what to do with her anymore. Is she seeing helicopters and ascribing them to following her? Mm. Or is she seeing nothing and believing that helicopters are following her? I don't know. I felt really terrible for her. And she didn't want to talk about her medication anymore. At one point, she did want to talk about her medication and how she had been taking it and then wasn't taking it. You know, well, I'm it makes certain life, what was going on with this lady. It makes life more exciting if the helicopters are there for you, right? right. Like If there are helicopters in the sky and you believe they're there for you, then that makes the, your day more interesting. Doesn't it? But most of the conspiracy theorists won't go so far as to say somehow this is aimed at them, right? Like no, it's they not, haven't gotten that paranoid yet. It's not that uh, crazy. So I, I don't know what to I don't know what to do with this information. In many cases, it, I find it very very odd. But individually, when mm. I look at these things, I'm like, oh no, I really don't think that passenger aircraft is spraying stuff in the sky. Nope, I don't. No. Mm-mm. It's it's juicy and sensational, and I enjoy reading it. And and so far, what I've seen about uh, Sierra Leone is that there's a hospital in Kenema, Sierra Leone, that is supposedly being supported by the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases. And a Liberian scientist was saying that they had run trials of an Ebola vaccine at that hospital, which is he claims is the epicenter of the Ebola outbreak over mm. there. But uh, I'm not seeing any real, um, any any hard uh, links. It's all kind of, it's a bit vague. But but not about uncommon th- for the conspiracy world, right? So the so the great aha moment, uh, or what they're trying to impart the conspiracy theorists to us is that we're not in control of our government, and you can see that. That's it's not hard to see, just like oh, you yeah. were saying before, and that people, aha, people can be evil to each other. That's also something that we've we've seen. The the evil that is the evil that 
that the governments do to us is is really it's hiding in plain sight the drug war absolutely is you don't need the conspiracy theories to see it but Brad, Bradley Manning Edward Snowden I mean there's so much out there that you, that is not a theory and that's so crystal clear and if I have limited time and I do and so do you if we have limited time as human beings and we have to be careful with you know what we spend our time on and I would prefer to spend my time talking about stuff that's concrete, that no one can deny, that it's absolutely happening, and it's wrong. What these government guys are doing is wrong. And and what the conspiracy guys allow, allege is wrong, too. Like, if that stuff's true, then that's terrible. No doubt. Whatever, whatever it is, whether it's spraying chemicals from the sky or whether it's, you know, the 9-11 conspiracy or... You fill in the the blank, whatever the conspiracy of the moment happens to be. Usually, if those things are true, then that's horrible as well. And it's not unbelievable that they could be true, some of them. It's not unbelievable that certain people in uh, positions of power could pull certain strings and have things happen to benefit their power. Totally plausible. But I just rather would report and spend my time focusing on the things we know they're doing. Or at least the things that aren't disputed. I don't know about yeah. no, but that are generally not disputed. Well, right. I'm pretty certain that those guys came and raided that old man's house because yes. it was reported in you know multiple locations. Somebody will tell you it's a lie, though. That's true. All right, we'll come back with more here in moments. And the ISIS video, come up. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, October 27th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,233, silver $17.24, and Bitcoin is trading around $350.30. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online, shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. In the news, on Friday, a U.S. drone strike was reported to have killed three suspected members of a local branch of al-Qaeda in the Arab Peninsula in Yemen. Reuters reported that tribal sources confirmed the deaths were members of the al-Qaeda group currently fighting the Shiite Muslim Healthy Group. However, Press TV reported that tribal sources stated that up to 20 people may have died. Drone strikes in Yemen have been a controversial topic since Human Rights Watch released a report detailing the deaths of Yemeni civilians at the hands of the United States government. The killings are being done in violation of international law. 
The FBI has released two updated reports from the Office of the Inspector General concerning the FBI's use of the controversial national security letters. The reports were released to the New York Times through a FOIA request. The updated documents were originally from 2007 and 2008 and have now been reissued with newly declassified information. NSLs are orders that give the FBI authority to gather data from companies without judicial approval. They are typically issued with a gag order, preventing the recipients from speaking about the request. The Electronic Frontier Foundation said the excessive classification and redaction continue to prevent new information from being released. A new policy study published in the journal JAMA Pediatrics proposes a mandatory criminal background check for every firearm sale as a way to protect the children. The report examined the federal policies in the United States related to children's health and health care. The researchers found that child poverty in America is at its highest point in 20 years and say that five children die daily from firearms. They offered 10 steps for the federal government to help children, including a background check for gun sales. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. And support comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, October 27, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. The Thin Blue Line, the unwritten police compact which holds that officers should get each other's back no matter the circumstance, has been crossed. This is a Liberty Beat special report. On day two of the Antonio Beeler trial, which wrapped up late Friday afternoon, Austin, Texas police officer Jermaine Hopkins testified on behalf of Beeler's defense regarding the ins and outs of reasonable suspicion. Hopkins has a history of going against the grain at APD. During his testimony, it was revealed that he is currently on administrative leave for taking a complaint of discrimination outside of the chain of command. For bringing forward the complaint, Hopkins stated APD retaliated against him, withholding his overtime pay. The Department of Labor has ruled against APT's decision. However, Hopkins' testimony on behalf of Beeler means more than overtime pay. Asked by the defense if he has faced retaliation for agreeing to testify, Hopkins told the court he would no longer have a job as of October 30th, with his supervisor informing him of his termination after learning of his subpoena to testify. Beeler is being tried for the Class C misdemeanor failure to obey the order of an officer. In association with his infamous New Year's Day 2012 arrest, where he filmed officers Oborski and Snyder violently ripping a young woman from the passenger side of the car in Austin, Texas. Day three of the trial takes place today. Beeler's attorney, Millie Thompson, is hoping to convince the jury that the order given to Beeler to put his hands behind his back was not a lawful order, as Officer Oborski had no reasonable suspicion to detain him in the first place. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, October 27, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Following the conclusion of yet another day marked by a litany of tedious and unavoidable realities, The Onion spoke with sociologist Dr. Timothy Coghill, who told reporters that the nation would be forced to go through all of it again tomorrow. As our projections demonstrate, tomorrow, like today, every man, woman, and child in America will wake up and do it all again. All of it, including traffic, the workday, bad coffee, your kid's soccer game, laundry, a struggling economy. Statistical evidence also showed that the nation would once again endure traumatic childhood memories, Twitter, anxiety, poverty, consumerism, rampant abuses of the legal system, joint pain, uh, racial inequality, global warming, the steady erosion of civil liberties, violence, loneliness, disease, unresolved intimacy issues, the ravages of age, hunger, sexual frustration, existential dread, the looming specter of death. For more on this unending story, check this week's Onion Review. This is the Onion News Network.
This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Coming up, Johnny Ray's Games of the Week. He's got uh, two of them this week. We'll get into those. Uh, plus, want to get into the video that I actually tried to play earlier uh, tonight. Actually, it was the first thing I tried to do on the show, and we went off in different directions because the audio went bad on us from the first video. It's the latest video from alleged ISIS prisoner John Cantley. And he, uh, for those of you who've been listening to the show for the last several weeks, you know that we've been playing these videos as they've come out. As I've become aware of them, uh, I will find the video and get the audio and put it on the air because I feel like there's just not enough representation of their side in this. And that's not to say I agree with the Islamic State. I don't agree with any state. I think you this, can't find the truth by looking at looking from one side. Right. I uh, and I, yeah. Right. I don't expect the uh, the Islamic State is giving us the truth, and I don't expect the United States uh, is giving us the truth. I don't know what the truth is in this case. I don't even know if ISIS is real. I don't know if they're like real, like legit, or if they're some sort of CIA front group. So I just want to make it clear. I don't know. This is is the first terrorist organization I've ever seen that's taken one of their hostages and turned them into a news reporter after beheading his uh, first three compatriots. I mean, this is a very strange story. Well, we're in a new world now. By the way, now I'm the conspiracy theorist. Well, it, I ask a few questions. It's a it's a it's a new world, right? Like anybody can get on and throw a YouTube video up. Uh, anybody can create a Twitter account, and so uh, this video is coming from the channel on YouTube, Shocking News, as linked to by Vice News. So the original article we had was Washington Post. Their video started playing back, kind of strange. So we're gonna try this one here. Uh, John Cantley this time is no longer in the black room where he's been for the last several videos since we first met him. Uh, in their initial video about two months ago, I think at this point, uh, he's in that black room wearing the orange prisoner T-shirt, mm-hmm. staring into the camera, uh, you know, looking like a prisoner. In this video, he looks like a newsman. He's got a you know, like a nice shirt, bottle, uh, kind of button up with a collar, a black shirt. So he's completely changed his uh, his wardrobe here. He's got a, a bit of a goatee uh, going on, and uh, here's the video, which starts out over the city of Kobane. And this is apparently very near the uh, the Turk the border of Turkey here in uh, John Cantley. Uh, we pick up from John Cantley, here. and today we're in the city of Kobani on the Syrian-Turkish border. That is, in fact, Turkey right behind me, and we are here in the heart of the so-called PKK safe zone, which is now controlled entirely by the Islamic State. Now, for a so month they, now, they're claiming to have beaten the, the Kurds. Of the Islamic State have been besieging this key Kurdish city. And despite continual American airstrikes, which so far have cost nearly half a billion dollars in total, the Mujahideen have pushed deep into the heart of the city. They now control the eastern and southern sectors. Now, the Western media... So he is saying that uh, what is being reported about this is not necessarily the truth, right? So he's giving their side of of these, these battles in Kobani. Yeah, and I can't see any of their journalists here in the city of Kobani have been saying recently (laughs) that the Islamic State are on the retreat. In the last 48 hours, hundreds of Islamic State militants have been reportedly killed in airstrikes, said the IB Times, on the 16th of October. We know we've killed several hundred of them, said John Kirby, the Pentagon official. The Islamic State is retreating from the Syrian city of Kobani, said the BBC on October the 17th, while Patrick Coburn said in The Independent that despite suffering serious losses, the Islamic State was continuing its assault on the city. Now, this is all quite a turnaround from earlier in the month when US officials were saying, and I quote, the strategically unimportant city of Kobani was going to fall into Mujahideen hands in just a matter of time. It's going to be difficult with just air power to prevent the Islamic State from taking the town, said U.S. National Security Advisor Tony Blinken. Of course it would. I mean, you're talking about a, what looks like a large city here. These, uh, they're, they're calling it a town. This is not a town. This is a city. I mean, this is a big place. The, the vistas here that they're showing in this video are very, very large. I mean, unless you level the city, you're not going to stop uh, the fighting that's uh, that's going on there. You think you'd be able to find, you know, which troops are moving from where to where? Because it would be the supply lines that you want to get. It's not the, uh, it, 
you're, you're not going to be able to find troop transports or what are inside a city with a drone. But mm. when they're going from place to place, I don't know everything about uh, Iraqi uh, topography, but the things that I do remember is sort of the highway of death and things like that. It seems like there's these sort of large swaths of areas where there's long roads and not much. And you'd think you could catch them there and drop hellfire missiles on them or whatever but you'd kind of have to watch out is are you dropping them on um, is or you're dropping them on uh, the peshmerga how do you on tell the 10th of october now good old john kerry doesn't seem to think the mujahideen are retreating he called kobani a horrible example of the unwillingness of people to help those who are fighting the islamic state uh, that's a dig at kurd hating turkish president Erdogan. But the point is, from where I'm standing right now, I can see large swathes of the city. I can even see the Turkish flag behind me. And all I've seen here in the city of Kobani is Mujahideen. There are no YPG, PKK or Peshmerga in sight. Just a large number of Islamic State Mujahideen. And they are definitely not on the run. Without any safe access, there are no journalists here in the city. So the media are getting their information from the Kurdish military. commanders and White House press secretaries, neither of whom have the slightest intention of telling the truth of what's happening here on the ground. Now, airstrikes did prevent some groups of Mujahideen from using their tanks and heavy armor as they'd have liked. So they're entering the city and using light weapons instead, going house to house. Mm. Now, America is very keen for Kobani to become a symbol, a symbol of victory of the coalition that is working together to defeat the Islamic State. But they know, and the Mujahideen also know, that even with all their air power... And you know, I, I just, I'm stunned at the idea that somehow this ISIS can come out of nowhere in the course of three months and they can, uh, they can beat the Peshmerga, the P P PKK, and the Iraqi army with the help of the U.S.'s predator drones. This story just sounds so stinky. I mean, something just doesn't make sense to me. Well, I, like I said, I don't claim to know what the, the truth is here. I don't I, claim you know, to know what the truth is either. I don't either. know if ISIS is a real thing. I have no idea. But I think it's interesting. And I don't know if I certainly don't believe that the U.S. government can come in and uh, defeat these these folks. They did a terrible job in Afghanistan. They couldn't they couldn't uh, fight against a bunch of guys running around in caves. I mean, these guys uh, this, this is their home turf. Uh, some of these guys. And that means that they know it well and that they're better to defend it than they would be on an offensive thing. Not to say that that's what's going on here, but uh, certainly the U.S. military, this is not their home. Proxy troops on the ground. Even this is not enough to defeat the Islamic State here in Kobani and elsewhere. Kobani is now being reinforced by Iraqi Kurds who are coming in through Turkey, while the Mujahideen are being resupplied by the hopeless United States Air Force who parachuted two crates of weapons and ammunition straight into the outstretched arms of the Mujahideen. <laughs> but the battle for Kobani is coming to an end. The Mujahideen are just mopping up now street to street and building to building. You can occasionally hear sporadic gunfire in the background as a result of those operations. But contrary I love the term to mopping up, killing people. Yeah. Western media would have you believe it is not an all-out battle here now. It is nearly over. As you can hear, it is very quiet, just occasional gunfire. 200,000 inhabitants of the city have been displaced because of the fighting that came here. You can see uh, the refugee camps over my right shoulder, over there in Turkey, uh, where the inhabitants now are. But contrary to media reports, the fighting in Kobani is nearly over. Urban warfare is about as nasty and as tough and as it gets, and it's something of a specialty of the Mujahideen. And that's it for that report from uh, John Cantley, allegedly with ISIS, saying things aren't as you're being told by the U.S. military. More coming up. You can share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? 
stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Ladies, with a U.S. divorce rate near 30% in this job market, looks matter. Breast enhancement or reduction, a tummy tuck or a little lipo can work wonders on you and your confidence. With hospital rates at fractions of U.S. prices and thanks to the recent Thai coup, unheard of low airfare and jaw-dropping deals on luxury hotel rooms. Provide a little info. Get a quote. Hit us up at asiarunlikehellguide.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And it appears there may be another Can't Leave video that came out just a few days ago that uh, I didn't hear about. Oh, geez, uh, another so one. There may be yet another one with him at the desk. I have yet to uh, to really determine whether we've seen this one or not. I don't think we have because I think it's been a little while. It's probably been a week or, or two uh, since we had played one of these John Cantley videos. Uh, John Cantley, the British photojournalist who has been uh, ostensibly in the hands of ISIS since 2012, just they came out just today apparently with this new video of him walking about on rooftops in uh, Kobani, which is apparently one of the cities uh, right across the border from Turkey. 
and basically claiming that uh, what you've heard, if you've heard anything, I hadn't heard anything about Cabani, but I'm not following the situation closely in the American uh, mainstream media. Apparently, you know, what they're saying is is that uh, ISIS has not successfully gotten a foothold there, while the ISIS video is claiming they have control over two, at least two swaths of the city and uh, that the fighting has died down uh, there. So you're welcome to share your thoughts on this, the whole ISIS thing. You're welcome to bring up anything you want here as well. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Yeah, as with this ISIS thing, it's really difficult to parse out what's going on. I found uh, some of the things that uh, Cantley was talking about in here very difficult to to believe, um, and I don't believe the things that I'm being told in the mainstream media either. So where do you find the the right information? Well, I don't know the answer to that, but I can tell you where to find information that is unlike what you're going to find in the mainstream media, and that's antiwar.com. Anywar.com has they've got huge readership. They've they've got uh, facts that aren't being put out in you know, other news uh, sources, news venues. They've got answers that you're not going to be able to find elsewhere. But what they don't have is a pot of gold. The war machine has the magic of the Federal Reserve's printing press to, uh, and the mainstream media. And all Antiwar.com has is you. Anywar.com staff is down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay. They're committed to keeping the website up with the best of the worst of all the bad news. They can't do it for free. They can't do it without you. They need your donation, so please go now to Antiwar.com and donate or call them today. They proudly and gladly take Bitcoin. I Not many not many of the, uh, as a matter of fact, they're, they're, they hold Bitcoin too. Not many of the um, other competing organizations are going to do that for you. It's anywar.com slash donate, because war is the health of the state. All right, our toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. We've also got Skype. Skype on in, username lrn.fm. So all kinds of uh, stuff to discuss here tonight. But let's change gears, Johnny Ray, and do some games of the week. You uh, were here... Were you here last week? You were here last week, right? I was here last week. Uh, You've been busy uh, sort of doing uh, lots of thespian activities. You're a stage actor... You've been in a variety of plays here, uh, acting recently. like you know what you're doing. I'm, <laughs> very good. My, I'm, I'm currently engineering my directorial debut for next May. Yes, and got a lot uh, on your plate right oh now. Man, I'm so excited about it. It's going to be a PG Woodhouse play called "The Plays the Thing," and it's it's one of these meta plays. It's a play, it's a play about, about a play, or it's play theater about, play about theater. Yeah. So you're uh, you're working on that now, but uh, you've got a little more time. Uh, you've been pretty harried with uh, doing two different plays back to back, basically. And I imagine when you're doing that, it gives you not as much time as you might like to have to play games, which is one of your your preferred activities. Uh, I play I play video games a lot. I'm I'm not convinced that I should be playing them ever, but I do play them a lot, mm-hmm. and I'm happy to talk to you about them, Ian. Just me. Well, you should talk to. You're talking to the entire audience, and uh, I, I wish I could play games more than I do. I do enjoy them very much. Um, you I, play. You play new, new groundbreaking games, new AAA games that everybody else is playing, and I'm always playing old games. That <laughs> uh, I'm usually behind the times, actually, a little bit with uh, with most of my games, like uh, like the uh, the battle or no the X XCOM one that was out for at least a, a year plus until I finally got my hands on it. So. I'm You've never been playing a lot of Borderlands though, right? The Borderlands again was out for quite a while before I before I got my hands on it. And the Borderlands pre sequel is out now too. I yes, understand I've heard about that, that one. I've heard about that. So uh Johnny Ray, your game of the week, there's two this week. Uh yes. Right? Uh, and, uh, and, and dungeon. I'm dungeon. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. There's also a game that you didn't like. Is that one of the two games you're gonna be talking about, or is that a third third game? I bet uh, Ian, I talk about the game Alpha Centauri from nineteen ninety eight. All the time mm-hmm. on this show. It's probably my favorite video game of all time. Earlier this year... It's a strategy game, right? Yeah, it's a strategy game, a turn-based strategy game. It's a 4X game. I can never remember the Xs. Explore, expand, exploit, exterminate, I okay. think. Uh, sort of a top-down view. Um, well, anyway, it's like Civilization, if you've ever heard of that. Uh, it's It's... Alpha Centauri was a great strategy sci-fi game. You're following uh, like pe- a people over many years. That's how it is in Civilization. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll play like as yeah. the Greeks say, and you'll start at the dawn of Civilization, and the game will end 
you know, it, uh, unless you've been eliminated early, the game will end in the present day. But the, is the office centauri more of like a space theme? Yeah, but mm-hmm. it was uh, it was a, it was an amazing game. Uh, what I love it for mostly is the fiction that was in it. It was it was a very time. mature game. The story was uh, subtle but mm-hmm. powerful, and like that. And and I, like many others, have been waiting eagerly, looking for the next Alpha Centauri, and it hasn't come out yet. Game mechanics. Maybe for these- they're remaking it. Like a reboot, anything, sort of thing? anything, or something that, similar. You're anything that similar. satisfied the Alpha Centauri player. Okay, all right. Um, and you haven't found that. There's been nothing since the late '90s. No, there's been a lot of games that attempted it, and and they're they've got shiny new graphics mm-hmm. and and more modern game mechanics, but they can't hit the mark. Now, would you say that XCOM hit the mark? Like when you know we were talking about XCOM, uh, this is a, a game that was remade. From the 19, early 1990s, uh-huh. uh, they remade it a couple of years ago for the next-gen PlayStation 3, Xbox uh, platforms. I would say they nailed it with that one. So it's not impossible to do it again. You mean they nailed the the, the recreation of the, original, of the original XCOM? Yeah, they t- they took all of the the elements from the original and they it was as good as the original, in my opinion. I I couldn't really articulate it very well, but I would say that I prefer the original, mm-hmm. and I thought it was more tense and creepier. But XCOM was a great game, and I the, I'm talking about the modern version yeah. of it, and I completed it. I beat it, and that's sort that's of right. a litmus test for me because I so rarely complete a game because they bore me mm. after a little while. Anyway, Ian, there's a game called Civilization for Axis. There's Civ- Civilization Five. Firaxis has just recently redu- re- uh, released a game called Civilization Colon Beyond Earth, and they wanted it to be the spiritual successor to Alpha Centauri. Hmm. It is the Civilization game, but it's in space and it's on another planet, and they didn't hit the mark. They, they blew it. They they missed the mark. It's got it's, like how far did they miss this mark? I mean, how bad was it? <sighs> How disappointed were you? I mean, you, you you seem pretty bummed about this. I am. I'm pretty. I think that they can. I think that the that that the that Firaxis and the modding community can continue to contribute to this game and create a something that is more worthy of Alpha Centauri. Mm, too little, too late. Yeah. Anyway, I don't really want to pile on. I just wanted to say yeah. that I didn't like that it. game, but there are some there are two other great games that I really did enjoy. Well, we can talk about that. So the game you didn't like, you bought it, and then ultimately yeah, you I bought it. It was it. I bought it for fifty dollars. Yeah, I wish. That's rough. What happens? Wait, wait, you can't do anything when you buy a, a sucky game for fifty bucks, right? We're coming up here. It's Free Talk Live. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. 
I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at Twitter.LRN.FM. That's Twitter.LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, dial toll free. Bring up anything here at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Is privacy dead? Not if you have anything to say about it. On November 7th and 8th, coders, privacy specialists, and idea people of all stripes will join together for Hack the Trackers, a transparency and privacy hackathon brought to you by Ghostery. You can enter online or join them in person in New York City, create tools that make the web a more transparent place, or help users manage how much data they share. The hacks will be judged by experts and voted on by an online community, and winners will receive a prize package, including the all-new Black Phone, a secure-by-design smartphone for people who recognize a need for privacy and want a simple, secure place to start. Participation is free, and registration is open now. Now visit hackthetrackers.com for more information. That's hackthetrackers.com. Johnny Ray with the games of the week, starting out uh, tonight by telling us about a game you were severely disappointed in, uh, the new Civilization, which you uh, you were a, a, kind of a fan of some of the old ones, right? Like you you liked the Civilization. I know you were talking about the Alpha Centauri, sure, yes. which is Civil sort of a Civilization is the granddaddy of computer strategy games, and I've and when I'm playing games on the computer, Ian, I'm playing strategy games. I love mm -hmm. Civ. I love Sid Meier, the creator of Civ. He's made a lot of great games. Brian Wilson made this game, Alpha Centauri, that I've that I've cherished. Um, and then Firaxis, the same company that that gave us Alpha Centauri, gave us Civ colon Beyond Earth, and it does not have the anima. It doesn't have the life that infuses Alpha Centauri. It's just it's just Civ Five with sort of a sci-fi uh, paint New job on top patch. of it. Yeah, and I wish that I had bought Civ Five instead, which I don't have, because mm. that has got some historical accuracy in it that I could get something from. This has a sci-fi element that is not believable where Alpha Centauri's was. Alpha Centauri was gritty. It was it was beautiful. What do you do when you pay $50 to get a lousy game? You're screwed, right? You can't return know. Sometimes that. Sometimes you can return them, probably. Yeah, Maybe don't, I, you buy it, don't you buy it uh, through one of those digital delivery systems? I Yes, I, I buy just about everything from Steam uh, unless I'm playing one a, a game on my smartphone. And generally, aren't you disallowed from returning software if you've like you know used the code on it? Or whatever. I, yeah, I guess you you probably are. Really? I mean, have you ever received Home Depot? Software? You can use something to bring it back. 
Right, I know that, and I can't remember. You know, I used to work in Kmart at the uh, the, the electronics department, and I feel like, you know, we probably did take take things back just because you know, big companies like that sort of have to take things back. Imagine, Mark, you were going to Home Depot's website and you were buying a file that would be imported to your that would you would run through your three D printer. Yeah. Do you think they might not want to take that back? Oh, I bet there's lots of reasons people wouldn't want to take uh, take stuff back. I just. I, you know, I mean, it it stinks to buy a game that for fifty bucks that's not very good. Well, I knew that I had to buy it. Uh, I, I I did a, a Johnny Ray's game of the week about some game called Pandora First Contact, mm-hmm. which there's been a slew of games like this that are that are doing their best to recreate that Alpha Centauri experience, and I expected that they would fail. But I bought that game anyway. That was only like twenty dollars or something, and and it didn't live up to the Alpha Centauri mm. standards, but I thought that Firaxis would be able to give me something that, even even if it wasn't Alpha Centauri, obviously it wasn't going to be, something that I would really be impressed with and want to spend time with, but I played it for an afternoon, I'll be playing it some more, and I think that it's got room to grow. Mm-hmm. It feels unfinished, Ian, for one Jeez. thing. The, the there's these these loud splash screens that come up for Firaxis, but there's no sound behind them. And the voice acting is there's just not much there. There's not con- there's not a, a lot of content as far as the voice acting goes. Do you think that the the video games these days, Johnny Ray, uh, there's, there's sort of this new thing that's happened within the last um, maybe decade in gaming, and that is this downloadable content, as it's called, DLC in the business. You know, it used to be that a game would be released. And then, you know, if there was any other content that came out for it, it was user created. It was the fans of the game who would create levels for that game. You know, the company in some cases would release the level design package that they would use. You could actually use their own uh, software to make more content for the game. And the company would, you know, or websites would host these files and you could download, you know, plenty of, you know, content for these games. That yeah, some and, of the- a, and a lot of like the game of the year editions would be full of of user created content but now they have these downloadable contents as they are called and they're still pricing games at sixty dollars or fifty to sixty dollars for a new game but they don't come with everything anymore now the games will come out and they will have downloadable content planned for the game like oh you can now pay sixty dollars for this brand new game but if you want to play the level where such and such happens then that'll come out in four months, and you can pay another twenty dollars for you know a bonus pack of four more levels mm. uh, for that very same game, or you know some new patch that does you know brings out new features that have been planned from the beginning for the game. They weren't like an afterthought, like oh well, oh we got these great ideas after we already released the game. No, they're they're planning these sort of stages of release of extra content from five to twenty. Uh, dollars worth and you know they want to hit their fans for another 10 20 bucks along the way i i don't really much care for that johnny ray how do you feel about the the downloadable content it feels to me like i mean it's not a scam but it's just you know when you pay 60 bucks for a game shouldn't you get the whole damn game it feels mercenary if you're uh, you know, if they're planning to do it that way, but then it, what? It's that- not that you can't finish the game. You can finish the game that they give you, but they just throw you out something else that didn't come with it initially. What this reminds me of is, though, uh, pardon me if I'm wrong on this, but I think that I might be right. Is with the Lord of the Rings movies back in 2003 or whatever mm-hmm. it was that those these things started coming out. They did all three of the movies. At the same time down in New, New Zealand. The production, so, you mean? Yes. Okay. So they could have, if they wanted to, release them all at the same time, and you would have had this long, epic uh, movie that you could have gone to see back to back to back or whatever. But they instead chose to re- release them one every single year, right? Well, that makes sense. I mean, because you wouldn't want to release... Well, these are long movies, right? Like three, four hours no, or whatever? they were long movies, like yeah, two and a so half I mean, hours, yeah. Yeah, three, let's say three hours per movie. Nobody's going to want to watch... I mean, very few people, except the most hardcore fans, are going to want to consume nine hours uh, in theaters over a, a week-long period of time. People will do it, but most... Uh, it wouldn't be, I don't think, as much of a blockbuster. I don't know. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to compare this practice that you're talking about, where you can... Where the game is... Where they release the game, and then they release some kind of extra level shortly thereafter yeah. that they produced at never, essentially the same time. It's never for the to the same... Well, the DLC may be being produced you know, later. It may be something they've planned and are working on it after the game's release. Yeah, I think that's it's more likely that that 
they release the game when they release the game they release everything that they've got that is cohesive and then they continue to work on the game and release what new stuff they've made afterwards in have you DLC. ever bought any of the downloadable content johnny ray i'm sure that i have nor the the normally i wait to buy a game until it has it has really established itself mm -hmm. and there is a version of it out there that is like the complete version that's true like They'll i do often that. buy a game by uh, i'll often buy a game three years after it's come out but people have done everything they're going to do to it pretty much right and it's recognized as a good game i know that i'm not going to get a piece of crap because it's really popular that's a good point what they'll usually do in that case is they'll come out with the game of the year edition right. or gold edition or something like that and and that's where they take all the downloadable content and they repackage it all into the same, you know, DVD or Blu-ray or whatever. And, uh, and they sell that below the price point that the original game came out for usually. Usually like 10 bucks below that that price point. So they'll release this game of the year version for 40 or 50 bucks instead of 50 or 60 bucks and you get it all. But you have to be willing to wait the two years or the year because uh, I don't think DLC goes much further than a year or so beyond the original game's release. Because obviously, at some point, that company has to move on. Yeah, because the tempo of focus on new things. Right. You can only extract so much uh, from the the game's audience. I just it's a it's a new thing, a new relatively new thing in gaming, and you know, somebody who's been around playing video games for a long time. I guess I'm spoiled, you know. I'm used to getting the whole game when you when it's released. And then, I don't like new things either, Ian. You know, I'm with you. A sequel comes out if, if a sequel's worth coming out with, you know, later on. Welcome to the old man club. Eight fifty five, four fifty free. I'm just cheap. That's all. More coming up here. That's this, part of it. This is free talk live. <laughs> Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body. Normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu fighting products. Also explore our Herbal Healer Academy Correspondence Courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. When commercials come on, don't push the button. Instead, listen. Even if you don't sell things for a living, you're still selling in the various conversations and transactions that make up your busy day. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important, especially if you're a job seeker. So take a lesson from Madison Avenue. Often the fewer words, the more effective the message. Like Jiffy Lube, where you never need an appointment or the office max ad that says you supply the ambition we supply everything else how about online ticket broker stubhub.com the way in when it's sold out or cybercupidmatch.com's seductive go ahead it's okay to look 
How cleverly and succinctly can you distill your message? For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Han Cook. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain here. If you're on the line right now, we'll do our best to get you on. Uh, if you're not on the line, well, call tomorrow because we got all kinds of time all week long for you, but probably not enough of it tonight. We've got some folks who want to comment here on the downloadable content uh, issue. I am griping about it. We're talking about Johnny Ray's Game of the Week, and I just kind of went off on this tangent of this downloadable content. It's this new thing within gaming within the last several years where they just sort of slowly release content to milk even more money uh, out of their audience. They're already still charging $60 for these games. We'll get to you with your thoughts here in moments. But Johnny Ray, you've got a 10-second game of the week here and then the other one that you want to talk about because you've got uh, two of them. All right, the 10 seconds is for a game called Fearless Fantasy from um, from Enter Skies studio probably it's a it's a takeoff of final fantasy but it's got this sort of it's got a very lewis carroll alice in wonderland kind of feel to it it's Mm. very strange and an interesting art style it's it was six dollars i think or seven dollars and i beat it in eight or nine hours it was a good experience i enjoyed it what was it called it was called fearless Fantasy. Not bad. It was about it's thirty seconds. Combination of uh, Lewis Carroll and S and M freaks. For, for what? For a computer? Yes, I got it on Steam. It seems Steam. it okay. looks like it's got kind of a mobile look to it, sort of like a South Park um, style animation. Yeah, it looked kind of chintzy when I was watching the video. Yeah, it, it has that, but uh, it was enjoyable, and it's definitely, according to Johnny Ray, worth five ninety nine or six ninety nine. Right. Right. So uh, the other issue, Johnny Ray, there's a second game you wanted to talk a little bit further about. What's it called? Dungeon of the Endless. All right, stand by with that. Let's go to your phone calls and thoughts. We've got RJ listening in Mississippi to WPBQ. Hey, RJ. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Um, you're talking about DLC, and there's actually two trains of thought on that as far as I can see. One is the, oh, great, I get new content for this game I love so much. Mm-hmm. And the other is, oh, great, I have to pay more money for a game I've already paid for. Uh, and developers also take that two routes as well. The most recent Batman game, there was a built into the code of the game when it shipped was a part of the game that was inaccessible unless you paid for the additional content which infuriated a lot of people. Yeah. When you when you pay for the yeah. DLC, when you pay for the DLC, all all they sent you was a code that unlocked the feature in the game that already existed. Yeah. However, yeah. you have games like, like Borderlands and Borderlands 2 did this extremely well. They had four or five, I want to say four different DLC packages that were a good 8 hours of content just in the single DLC. And what would one of those cost? I mean, to get another eight hours of gameplay, what are you usually uh, paying out? Uh, it's anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks. Yeah. So I remember but, 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 it's been some time since I played, sort of sat down and played console games, uh, you know, like I used to. But there was this thing called uh, Star Wars Battlefront that I really liked. You could uh, you were in several sure, worlds. Yeah. You did this third-person shooter thing. And they then they came out with Star Wars Battlefront 2. Mm-hmm. And it was great, right. except there was like a map on it that I didn't get. Uh, there was like a map that didn't that was on the first one that wasn't in the second one. Is what, what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of let down. You felt like there wasn't much more they did to the game. 
Well, no, it. I thought they did enough to the game to make it worth it, and I certainly bought it and all that. Okay. I was happy with it. It was a good game. What, what I'm saying is, is that if they would have done the downloadable content thing and expanded the world of Star Wars Battlefront instead of sent, you know selling me Star Wars Battlefront 2, uh, right. then I would have been able to play this map that I wanted to play with the newer, better setup that they oh, have. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Right, so, and, and the argument can be made... Oh, great. They left out one map, right? Playing Devil's Advocate. Yeah, here. sure. Um, but it's the little I things like that, map. like that one map. It's the little things that make it for you personally. Yeah. It's true. You Our take James, this uh, DLC on a case by case basis. I would feel upset having to pay for more for a, a uh, sieve beyond Earth that ultimately just delivered me what I really should have been expecting in the first place. Hey, RJ, thanks for the right. call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. And look, I've, I've bought some of the DLC. Um, it's just that it's usually so... I'm not... Okay. So I like the uh, the games. I like to play games. But when I buy the DLC, sometimes I felt like, oh, well, I really liked this game, and uh, I got it at a good price, so here's a way for me to get... Like, one of the games I got used, and then I bought some DLC for that game, and I was like, oh, you know, send some money to the programmers, get a little bit of extra content. But I, I don't think I ever really even played it. I think I downloaded the DLC, and then I moved on to the next game anyway. I wonder how often that happens, where, you know, they'll hit people up for this DLC, and then they don't even... How many you know, times do people buy a console game, play it a couple of times, and then and not put go it down. for it? Yeah, I mean, you know, I there was... Uh, one I really loved at one point, and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, where it was about, uh, I think it was a third-person shooter set in um, England with uh, everybody's like a cockney gangster or whatever. And I really loved that game. I bought the number two version, and I never even made it through it. I was just like, yawn. Yeah. Let's go to Christian in West Virginia listening to WVTS. Christian, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys, two things real quick. Uh, your previous caller did a great job articulating pretty much what I was going to say with my first point. <laughs> You've got these companies, uh, you know, EA, Activision being the, the worst offenders of actually having content locked on the disc and then charging you, you know, 25, 30 bucks for a season pass, which all it does is send you 108 kilobyte code, which unlocks, you know, what you already own, which mm -hmm. I think is kind of disingenuous. Um so, again, he did a great job. He pretty much explained everything. That's um, the most insulting. Classic. Absolutely. The <laughs> idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, if, if they come out with some awesome thing that's an addition to the game that makes it better, that adds on several hours of gameplay and it's only 10 bucks, that's not insulting to me. But to, to sell you a disc that already has content on it that you then pay extra, you already paid 50 or $60 for the disc, and then they want another 25 bucks just to give you access to the whole thing, I mean, that just seems like the next, you know, next thing to highway robbery. And sadly, that is the trend in this next generation of gaming. Just about every game, whether or not it would uh, you know, need a season pass. A uh, classic example is Destiny, which just came out last month. You know, modders and, and people have already looked at the code on the disc. The game only shipped with like 20-some missions. There are 12 additional missions that are locked on the disc right now that people can't access. So um, hmm. that's, you know, that's what I wanted to point out. And secondly, Johnny Ray, I know you're a big gamer. You've got to look up No Man's Sky. Um, it is being developed by a company called Hello Games. Very small, independent company. I think they've got about eight employees. It's a procedurally generated space exploration game. Procedurally lived, generated? What does that mean? That means that an algorithm eight. creates it? Creates? That is correct. That is correct. So the game world and wasn't uh, it, the game world doesn't exist until you load the game up. Is what you're saying? The game world doesn't exist until you go to a particular solar system. The algorithm then creates planets, mountains, oceans, flora, fauna that not only that you get to discover, but you can actually name. And then anyone else that would ever visit that planet can see that you know, hey, Ian has named this planet, you know, Altheron Three or whatever. So. No Man's Sky. It's not due out until next year. So wait, it's something it's that's like multiplayer common. online. So your absolutely. So your little universe thing somehow gets linked into the rest of the internet. Absolutely, sounds it's pretty a interesting. MMO. Yeah, No Man's Sky. Check it out, guys. Love the show. Hey, thanks for the call tonight, uh, Christian. I appreciate hearing from you. You know, as long as the these big companies with these games with this r ridiculous locking down existing content on the CD and until you you know squeeze some more money out of the customer, uh, you know that seems. 
I, I hope that there's some sort of bounce back, uh, some kind of blowback by the gaming community in this case to where they won't put up with it anymore. Um, but I guess if the game's good enough, then people will put up with it, right? Johnny Ray, what's the next game? You got uh, another game of the week here. What, what do you got? Dungeon of the Endless by Amplitude. Um, Endless is the name of like a forerunner race. Um, th- th- let me not get bogged down on the story. Dungeon of the Endless is a rogue-like game where you, when you you die, you die permanently. Um, it's it's you've crashed in an escape pod into the crust of this world and you come you you open the door of your escape pod and you're in the middle of this dungeon and the wow. goal is to fi- is to get out. Okay. So the whole thing's like a dungeon romp or a dungeon hack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you go you go in depending on your which kind of uh, escape pod you go in on and you can unlock different kinds of escape pods which will have different uh, abilities or restrictions or whatever. Um you might have one person or two people, and you go and you open the first door, which is the door of your escape pod. That opens up a room, and there could be some monsters in the room, or some, or or a, a module that. So the goal is to escape is like a, th- a first person game or a th- or like third person perspective. It's like a top down. It's kind of it's almost okay. like a board game. Is this a for the uh, for the Windows or for the phone or what? Do you, where do you get it? It's for it's. It, I'm playing it on my on my PC. And what's it called again? It's called Dungeon of the Endless. Dungeon of the Endless. And what's it cost? Uh, nineteen euros. Oh wow, that's about twenty four dollars. I Steam, think. Steam delivered. Yes, yeah, Steam. Johnny Ray's Game of the Week. Uh, how do people find you on the Steam, Johnny Ray? What's your username there? I forget. All right, very good. Maybe you'll have it first next week. <laughs> See you online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Is the Free Talk Live. I spent eight and a half years of my life in prison, and I blame it squarely on the shoulders of Christianity and the stories that I was told. If somebody, if my parents, if my, if the people at the Christian school, if the people at church would have just explained morality to me as opposed to explaining heaven and hell as a reason for doing what was right and what was wrong, I think I would have understand. It's relatively easy. If you do the moral thing in life, your life is going to be better. You're going to sleep better at night. You're going to probably uh, you know, be much more prosperous. Right. You know, they and say crime doesn't things- pay. They and all those for a reason. happen uh, right here in this world. We don't have yes. to wait for an afterlife to experience the consequences of our actions, whether good or bad, you know? If I would have just been given the gift of morality instead of the gift of some silly, crazy story, I would never have gone to prison. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. 